Yo koso, Japanese quest to it. Welcome to Japanese quest. Today the journey continues on Japanese quest in Dragon Quest. Kind of confusing to say. Moe, Greg, AJK, Joyo. Konnichiwa. Konbanwa. Oha gozaimasu. Depending on your time paradigm. Kanagi, Greg, welcome. Yeah, we were just streaming, but I realized we had unfinished business. So a bit earlier stream today, or later depending on your time zone. Mina, konnichiwa. Let's go in here. I felt like we needed to go in here. Okay. Okay, so anyone here for the first time? Ah, oh, good time for you, Kanagi. Good to hear. Anyone here for the first time? I'm a Japanese teacher. My name is Akira, Akira Sensei. And uh, what we do is we look at Japanese text in games. We break it down. We find words. Some of those words we add to our power level. The goal, of course, over 9,000. Check it out. We made it to 14,000 yesterday. We also look at sentences and uh, whole paragraphs. And just get a sense of how those patterns work, how those words fit together. Uh, I took Japanese in high school. I had a good teacher. But I always thought, what would it be like if a Japanese teacher played through the games I liked in Japanese and kind of taught with that as the teaching material? So this is, this is that. Yuppie, konnichiwa. It's a great first phrase here. I remember when I first learned this word. I just got ready a, a video about the JET program today. It's a program I did teaching in Japan. And uh, I didn't know this word before I went to Japan. Uh, but I got an email from my predecessor on JET. And uh, she was just leaving JET. So she said something like, Natsukashi na. Remembering something when she was on JET. And uh, that was the first time I learned this word. It means like nostalgic kind of a memory that you enjoy. So he's saying right now, this place is very nostalgic. He used to live here when he was a, a robber or a criminal, or I guess tozoku, like a thief might be the good word for it. And so who was a thief? Let's take a look. Natsukashi na mataku. Kowatte naize. So it hasn't changed at all. This is where he used to live. So it's very natsukashi, brings back memories. Uh, koko wa, so as for this place here, ore to deku ga, so me and my partner deku, we were thieves here, and during that time, suibun to seiwa ni natte ta geshuku nanda. So we really relied a lot on this place for our place to sleep at that time. AJK says, this time is sleepy time for me. Ah, uh, yeah. In Japan, it must be, what, uh, 1 a.m.? 107 a.m.? AJK, it's fine. Yo, Oh, yes, Hope you get a good sleep. Sleep's very important. Okay, so he's saying, Oi, Okami. So it means like the landlady, the woman who runs this lodging house. Yinaika, are you here? And then it's me, Kamu. His name is Kamu. In the English version, it's Eric, so they changed that quite a bit. Ah, uh, Yuong, Ohio. Geek. Konnichiwa. Good to see everyone. Welcome. Minna Genki. Everyone doing well today? And this is the main thing here. Kikitai koto ga aru. So aru to exist. Uh, kikitai koto. Something to ask. This koto here makes it a thing, a noun. And then ga marks this as the the subject of existing here. So kikitai koto ga aru. I have something to ask you. We got a dragon! Coming out of the fire here. Sugoi ne. 
We got a dragon. So we're up to now 68 dragons on Japanese quests. It's a lot. It must be because there's lots of dragons in this game. Subscribe, arigato. Ah, geek, gray, Ohio. Okay, so the landlady is Lusika, so it seems like she's out. This cough kind of makes it a question to be like, kind of, it seems like she must be out. And then, uh, so yowaru means normally to weaken, but also can kind of mean like he's troubled. So, because he needs to find her. So, Anohitana, so if we find her, Deku no Ibasho ga wakaru tomotanda ga. So, I thought that we would know where he is if we could just talk to her. The important thing he wants to find is this right here Deku no Ibasho. Ibasho means the place where someone is, whereabouts, and then Deku is the guy that we're looking for. And uh, maybe let's level up today, because I think this word we probably haven't learned. The word for her being out right now. If we have not, let's add that to our power level today. And for word absence, being away from home or house sitting. You can see that word there. Lucid. Let's, uh, let's copy that. We have not learned it, so our power level is now up to 1402. Let's make that go up. Check our power level at the bottom right. It's going up right now. Yosha, Siokanata. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? Power level wa Sen. Yon Hyaku Ni. We are getting stronger in Japanese quest. The goal, of course, over 9,000. Okay, let's see here. So we're looking for Deku. Okay. So I guess we have no other... We're kind of in a pinch, so we have... There's no way around it. Shikata ga nai. So there's no way around it. We have to... It can't be helped. Very common Japanese phrase. It can't be helped. Shikata ga nai. So, Mazua first. Okami Sagashite. So, let's look for the landlady and then find where Deku is. If we see this word again, why don't we add this word too if we don't have it? For whereabouts or location. Ibasho. Let's look that up in our power level list too. And we can see some more insight into that word here. So, whereabouts, place, location, place where one belongs. Yeah, this is the other cool thing about this word. It can mean where you can be yourself. And to be honest, because of that definition, we probably did learn this before now that I think about it. Because it could be a place like where you fit in, where you feel like you can be yourself. Now, I know we've talked about that, so yeah, we have learned that. But good review all the same. It's used in a different way here. It's just whereabouts. Okay, so he's saying go to this fire tower here, this like fire lookout tower. And then look for this landlady. And it's to the east. Okay. Okay, he'll look in a different place. Betsu no basho. So a different place. Betsu means different. Basho means place. And then he's searching, so sagasu to search for. And then uh, we, however, will know it's her because she is hitori no akagami da karana. Because she's the only red haired girl or woman in this town. So sugani wakaru. So Sugani quickly will quickly understand who it is. Hmm. 
Hmm. Might as well look around in here. See if we have any treasure. Takara. Takara ga arimasu ka? Maybe we could sleep here too for free. Yesterday we slept and we got robbed. Five gold. We slept at a board. So, Tsukemono no Ishi. We got a pickling stone. It's like a stone you put on pickled food. Tsukemono is pickled food. And it looks like, no, we can't sleep here. Eh? Nande. You'd think this used to be his hideout, but I guess he's in a hurry. Shogunai ne! Guess there's no way around it. Let's find this, uh. Oh no, we're trapped. Somehow made it out. Okay, so it looks like that is our tower. Hey. Tobiri ni wa kagi ga kakatte iru. So it is locked. The door is locked. Tobira is door. Kagi is lock. Also key, strangely. Maybe not strangely, but from my English perspective, a little strange. Ah, watashi mahou tsukai no minarai nanda. Okay. So she is the apprentice of a wizard. Maho is magic. And then Mahotsukai is wizard. But she's not a wizard, she's a Minarai. So an apprentice of a wizard. But she says demo. But I'm putting a square around that because it's always important to see those sentence markers when you're changing direction. So demo. So but. Onaka peko peko de chikara ga denakute. But uh, I'm hungry and. I don't have any strength. Um, so because she's in this kind of poor part of town, even though she's trying to become a wizard, she doesn't have the strength really to do magic, she's saying. Ah. So if only there is some kind of uh, magic they would make white bread, fluffy white bread. Fua fua means fluffy. Fua fua no shiro pan. So if only we could make some fluffy white bread that I could just. Mei ippai. So like it would fill your complete vision and eat that. If only there is that kind of magic. Maho, again, magic. And then maho demo areba ino. So i means good. So it would be good. If only we had magic that could make this fluffy white bread. Hmm. So let's look at our map and our quest log. Okay, so it's it is saying Jokamachi Castle, so the lower castle city no Okuniyaru, so inside or deep inside. Hino Miyagura ni Noboro. So climb up that east tower. Might as well do that. It's important to jump as you run. It's good exercise. Recommend all of us do that in real life. At least some of the time. Although, if you make sound effects when you jump like Mario does, like, hoo, 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 people can yell at you. That happened to me once. So be careful. So go back home. Go over there. Ah, not all. <laughs> hmm. 
So just need some money, it seems. Or another possibility? Not a little. <laughs> okay. So there must be our landlady we're looking for. So could it be traveler? You want to go forward? You want to advance ahead? So too bad, but So right now you cannot pass. Mata Yukaita ga So it seems like some of the floor boards are uh gone so ima so right now shuri shiteru so it seems like right now it's being repaired dakedo so although owarumare wa mou sukoshi so mou sukoshi is kind of the main thing here take a little more time so maybe we can come back later mou sukoshi kakari so so we'll take a little bit more time kakaru is to take time and then the soul means probably so probably we'll take a bit more time Try to jump past her, didn't work. Really? You can't clear that? We can jump like five feet tall, we can't clear a rope. Okay. Eh. So, where in the world did the landlady go? How about you? How did you do? Okay, so you saw the red-haired, roundish woman heading off towards the uh, hotel, or the, the inn, or our lodging over there. Well, let's go over there. Let's meet her. So I wonder in this game, are, is there anything in any of these? Because I feel like I keep wanting to go in those things, but I don't know. So he's saying it's lifestyle, not having a house, is actually very pleasant. So those who want or need to be in a house, you can you can live there. But I can just live my own way. Uh, and uh, yeah, this is not a bad thing either. Let's hope these are not all this guy's belongings. Living on the street there. We slept on a board yesterday, so we kind of know what he's talking about, I guess. Although we were robbed. So there are risks. So let's try talking to this guy. I think we can just run past. <laughs> so what are you doing? Loitering, wandering around. Uh, so this is blocked off, no entering. So if you understand, get out of here. Hmm. Gao gao. One. That's how you bark in Japanese. One one. Uh, 
Oof, 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 oof. So this is Doragorawa. So this must be the name of the dog. Dorako. Ano Monban. So Monban means like a guard. Ano Monban no. Owate puri tokitara. So she's saying it's funny thing that uh the guard freak out. Nani mitten no yo. So what are you looking at? Yoga nai nara sasato. Kiete kure nai ka. So if you got no business with me, could you kindly disappear? So we talked to her, I think she's the wizard, or trying to be a wizard. Ah, Geek says, Kore wa saiko no channel de. Arigato! <laughs> so psycho means best, so this is the best channel. Arigato, thank you. I will take the compliment, it's not just because of me, by the way. I'm uh, the guide, Kitty is also a guide. But uh, everyone here is another party member on this journey. This journey only exists because everyone who has been part of this party, leveling up in the game, leveling up in Japanese. So welcome, and uh, and thank you. Konomise no yasai wa, so we see a wa, that means this is what the sentence is about. What's it about? Yasai, vegetables. But what kind of vegetables? It's this store's vegetables, konomise, this store. Konomise no yasai. So as for these vegetables at the store, ore ga kabe no mukou gawa kara yami no ruto de shiirete kiteru da. So I got these vegetables from the other side of the wall, the wealthy side, through a dark root. Yami means darkness. So it means like a kind of like a dark smuggling route he used. So he's saying, Doda, Kekko, Umasoda. So what do you think? Pretty delicious, don't you think? Umai means delicious, and then this so means like it looks delicious. Umaso. Don't you think it looks delicious? So Tashkani. Very useful word here. So it means like certainly, definitely. So Tashkani. Chokpiri Kusari Kaketeruga. So yeah, it's definitely a little bit it's definitely a little bit rotten. Welcome, Brulo. Or Bruno. Yokoso, Japanese quest away. Koreo Stechima Nante Mukagao no Venchumo Otainai. So this is kind of the key here. This is a very kind of big part of Japanese culture too. Cool thing about learning a language, you learn about the culture as well. This phrase, let's uh, highlight it. Let's go to our power up words. I'm pretty sure we learned this, but let's look it up because this is a key word. In Japanese culture and also in this sentence. So, mottainai, wasteful, a waste, uh, so, on the other side, they're throwing away good vegetables, which is almost sacrilegious. There's even more to it than just waste. So let's copy that. Let's see if we can add that to our power level, but I, my guess is we've learned this already. So it is a really important idea. Really? We've not learned it. Eh? Honto? Guess not. If anyone wants to double check on that, if like the hiragana we've learned for some reason. But yeah, probably we haven't learned that. Interesting. Okay, let's go back to the game. So they're really wasteful over there. Let's check it out. Look at all these carrots up here. All those carrots you see right there. All that corn. Looks pretty good. That was all in the trash. I could consider this for our YouTube thumbnail, but I don't feel like a thumbnail of carrots is going to attract any views, but it's kind of cool you can view the carrots so closely. Uh, I am obviously trolling. Thanks for your service. I got a funny question, says uh, Cyber Kitty. Been learning these 
2K core Japanese words on Anki. Just wondering one thing. Ah, uh, yeah, good word, Greg. To be pro ninjin carrot. So, jimu tekina shori. It looks like kind of business type terminology. Uh, is this word really the nine thousand important ones? Uh, each word individually, I'd say, yeah, it is. Although those two specifically together, I wouldn't really say that combination is something I see a lot. So good question though. Uh, Jumpcracker, konnichiwa. Good to see you. Right now we're doing an in-depth study of carrots in Japanese. So you've come at a good time, Jumpcracker. I'm trying to see how close we can get to carrots in this game. We're pushing the limits of carrots. You can have carrots this close! In this game. This close even. What is going on here? Look at that's the binding on a carrot. Taking up like all of your screen. What? What's the limit? I need to know the limit. I need to know the limits of carrots. You might ask what is the language function of this? Nothing. You gotta do fun stuff. You gotta do breaks sometimes. You've got to add humor, add rest between your uh, leveling up in a language. you got to mix it up. Ha <laughs> That is the goal, of course, for our power level. Welcome, Choria, as well. Okay, so where were we going? We were going back to our place now. Let's go back there. I might be missing some questions, but other people maybe can get them too. Tro Obviously Trolling, who I don't think is Trolling, says, Any tips for someone who works in an international company in Japan? Hard time escaping Gaijin? Ah, yeah! That was hard for me too when I was in the JET program in Japan. Don't have time to devote energy to learning. Ah, yeah, I've been there too. Leads me to too anxious to socialize with Japanese people, thus improving. Uh, possibly people like Choya could help you too, because they're working in Japan as well. Uh... I mean, I feel like I don't have anything that useful to say in response to that. For me, I just had a lot of free time when I was in Japan, and I studied by myself. And then for my speaking, I would just go to random Japanese restaurants that I liked, like a mom-and-pop okonomiyaki restaurant. I go there once a week and just talk to the, the woman who worked there, things like that, talk to the people that worked there. So I recommend finding some places, some routines that you enjoy, some activities that you enjoy. I had a friend who did kind of musical activity there, I think. I had another friend who did some kind of martial art activity, and they'd see the same Japanese people, maybe older, but they'd see them all the time. That kind of good repetition can help a lot, I think. All right, let's stop running around. Let's go back to where we're going. Yeah, hobby. I recommend a hobby that has social stuff built into it. That helped me. Yo, Kami, Sashibri Dana. Ah, yes, I broke I feel like I kind of missed your. Ah, it looks like John Cracker is looking at your question good. I might have missed a piece of it, but let's look here. So he's saying, ah, long time no see. He's Sashibri. So, for example, if someone came into chat after like a year. Or like, I don't know, a few months, they might say, this right here. Hisashiburi da na, long time no see. So it's been a while since he saw her. <laughs> so welcome, are you guys staying here today? So she doesn't realize, I think, that she knows us yet, or knows him. <laughs> so, what? You're Kamu, right? Weren't you captured by the people of the castle? So, could it be that you're the one who escaped that everyone's freaking out about now? 
けありみたいだねやれやれ相変わらず危なっかしい子だよ<laughs> So it looks like there must be some reason、uh, やれやれ oh well、uh, Looks like you're always getting into some kind of trouble そう言うなよあんたに迷惑はかけないさ So don't say that I will not trouble you at all. So it's interesting、uh, that he says this. Meiwaku is like a burden. Meiwaku wa kakenai sa. So I will not trouble you. I'm not going to give you any trouble. But if the castle knew that she was helping the demon spawn, or whatever they call us, what is it that they call us again? The dark spawn plus this other. Guy who helped the dark spawn escape from the lowest dungeon. Like, she'd be locked up too. She might be killed too. So he's saying, I'm not gonna trouble you. He's troubling her in a big way right now. It's not like they don't even have their hoods on. Come on. Ah, Yokozo, Japanese customer. Welcome. So I'm looking for Deku. Do you know where he might be? So、let's break this down a little bit. So, doku, doko, where? And then, doko ni iru. So, where is he? Shidanai ka? Do you know? Oh, yeah, ma. That's a shi na mai da koto. Kedo, sai kin kono atari ja mi kake nai ne. Hmm. So, that's a nostalgic name to hear. Again, we see this word. That's a shi. Nostalgic. And then, what is it? What is the noun here that's nostalgic? This name that she heard, Deku, his friend.、Uh, Kedo, but recently have not seen him around here. So, around here, Kono, this, Kono Atari. So, around this area. Okay, so he is close to the castle. Oshiro no chikakute, chikakude. And、uh, he started a store, mise. It's like a shop. Mise o hajimete, so he started a shop. Zuibun to i s u g a s h i t e So he's quite busy and doing quite well. Oi, oi, mise o hajimete tate. <laughs> okay, so he started a store. He doesn't have that kind of money. So, so no, so no, 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 Huh. Ah, Pika! Konnichiwa! And everyone else talking about words and things in chat. Thank you for answering and asking questions. It's always helpful. I won't always be able to look at all of them. But again, the feature of this channel, the hope is that、uh, it's a community, not just one Japanese teacher and one Japanese teacher cat who is now a.、Uh, Spirit cat.、Uh, no, the hope is that we have lots of party members that we can all learn from each other. So, again, thank you very much for、uh, contributing there.、Uh, by the way, I finally, I think I got Nightbot to work again. Let's see if it works. We have these different commands. For example, power level. Can anyone try ex exclamation point power level? See if that works. It's the Nightbot I invited back to our channel. For some reason, it left. I don't know why it left, but I think I invited it back. Can anyone try that? Any of our commands? Yatta, it worked! And we also have command for Discord, for YouTube, for sentences, and、uh, that might be it. But it looks like it works nicely done. Oh, it's a good one. I kind of missed the sentence before this because it was just a short one, but he said, So could it be that、uh, his friend might have stolen the orb? And use that money to start this store. Alright, so she's saying. 
Ah, people here generally don't butt into other people's business. So, tanin, strangers. Tanin no jijo. So, strangers' circumstances or strangers' business. Generally, they don't stick their neck. Literally, the word neck is used. Kubi o sukomu. To stick your neck into something, or in this case, don't stick your neck. Uh, kono machi no rudu. Basically, the rule of this city is to not snitch on people, to not get in other people's business. Uh, if you want to know more, you better find out yourself. Cypher B, Yokozo. Japanese customer, welcome. So you're right, aren't you? And I I thank you again. Le o you you to say and then le is le thanks. So le o use it. So I give you my thanks. Ikoze, Akira. So let's go. By the way, my name again is Akira. So we named the character for this game Akira. Often for our games we use other past games we've played, like we named a character after Zelda characters when we play Stardew Valley. <laughs> My linguistic knowledge is slowly fading away. I feel like I know that feeling. I took a linguistics class in my master's program for teaching Japanese and teaching English, but uh, some of those linguistic things, I definitely didn't keep all of those. All the, the broader ideas are nice to be aware of. Finipon, welcome! Yokoso! <laughs> okay, so he's saying... So he really started a shop again, Mise. Shop, he opened a shop in the wealthy area of town. So, Ano Yaro. So that's kind of a thing to say, only if you're angry, it's not a very nice thing to say to call someone Anoyaro is quite disrespectful, but he's saying so he sold out me and the ore. Inerific, yokozo, Japanese customer, welcome. So, ore to obu. See that in katakana, because they're both foreign words. Uh, actually, they're not. Ore is normally in kanji, but to make it easier, maybe, he's saying ore, me, and obu, the orb as well. He sold out both of us. So let's, uh... Let's kind of shake him down. Let's, uh... Force him to tell us where the orb is. Ah, Inerific! Yoroshiku onegaishimasu! Alright, so where we need to go, the castle town is through that gate. Uh, but there's a guard in the way, Monban. So what kind of Monban? Jama na Monban. So, uh, Jama means like a hindrance or something in the way. So he's in our way. So we could give him money, Daga, but there's a problem with that. Tabirachi Maini, before we go out on a journey, Yokei na shupi wa Yokei Tai. We'd like to avoid spending too much money. Uh, Toboyoshi says, Hey guys, been watching this series a bit on YouTube. First time catching the stream? Yatta, I'm glad we streamed early today then. Good to see you. Anyone from YouTube, anyone from anywhere in internet land, welcome to Japanese Quest. Let's find a way. Oh. Okay. So he kind of breaks it down, gets a summary again at the end. So, Meizasu is to aim for. So, Meizasu wa. So, our aim, what we're aiming at is. Jokamachi, the castle town. 
Shiro no Shikaku. Close to the castle. Shiro is castle. And specifically, Deku no Mise. So, Deku's store. And so, to do that, how do we get there? Uh, Anomonban, so that's guard. Inu ni yowanda. So, he's weak against dogs. So, Inu, dog. Uh, often, animal names are in katakana. Even though the kanji for that one is very simple. It's, notice it's still in katakana. So, nara. So, if that's the case, he's weak to dogs. Dareka ni inu o karete. So, let's borrow a dog from someone and... Topashio, breakthrough. Topa to break through something. It's kind of a cool word. Uh, I'm not sure how common it is. Why don't we look it up for our power level list just for fun? If it's common, why don't we maybe add a new word? Anyone think we should add this word? So it's an N1 word, common word. So it is common. So topa, breaking through, surmounting, overcoming. It's a good theme kind of for what we do. Another word you see a lot with that is, uh, not these, this one. So like an opening, topako. So kuchi means like an opening. Uh, in this case, it's pronounced with the onyomi reading, ko. So topako. It's like an opening, a breach in the castle defenses, for example. But again, the first part, topa, is to break through. If you look at the kanji, the first one, means to stab through, so imagine stabbing through. The second one means to break. Stabbing through, breaking through the opening. But uh, this is a sudo verb, so it can take sudo. Toppa sudo, to break through. Might as well add this. Probably not the most common word around, but uh, it is marked common and it, I have seen it a lot. I see some good recommendations up there in chat for different learning resources. Do you ever think about playing a game together with stream to teach Japanese via interaction? Yeah, I have considered that, and we may do different things someday. So thanks for mentioning different ideas like that. I've definitely considered stuff like that. I've actually thought, uh, since Junkcracker's here right now, I thought possibly doing like a collaboration stream with Game Grammar someday could maybe be cool if we had some kind of like multiplayer game or something that could be kind of interesting. Since we do kind of similar thing. Thought that could be kind of cool someday, potentially. Let's see here. So the goal again, to find this store. Possibly use the dog to break through the guard. And I'm not exactly sure how those different ideas of collaboration would work, but they're good ideas, I think, to think about. Could be fun. Uh, Greg to be. I like that one time you had to share the Harry Potter game and get past the level. Yeah, yeah, one person had to pass the game for us. Yeah, Cyber Kitty, some people do think that. Okay, so where are we going? Let's try to go back to this guard, figure this out. Oi! Sokono Maira. So again, he still won't let us through. Same thing from before. Okay, so the plan then. Ooh, we want this dog, so let's talk to this person maybe. So same thing from before. Anything new? Huh? Uchi no ino... Kashite hoshi. So you want to borrow my dog? Fun. Jodan mo... Yasumi yasumi. Itte yo. Alright. So that yasumi yasumi itte yo. So that's something I haven't seen very much. Like yasumi means to rest, but I don't normally see it 
repeated like that. So let's look that up for fun. So resting at times or with careful thought after proper consideration. Okay, so she's saying like, do your jokes properly, basically. You can see it's a rare word, not something I've seen very much personally. So it seems like maybe she's not into giving us her dog. Uh, so this dog is like me. So he's a lone wolf. From birth. So he won't be tamed by anyone. Ah, Rafael Braga, konnichiwa. Yep, surprise stream today, secret stream today on Wednesday. Welcome. Yeah, learning actively is what I'm into. Kind of the inspiration for the stream was I was on a trip through Japan with students of Japanese, high school students, and we would just learn Japanese in context as we'd find it. Like people would say things, we'd talk about it, we'd go to a kombini, We'd see products, we'd talk about it. And it's these teaching moments that I really liked learning on a journey. I, re I realized that's the way to learn, not in a classroom, at least for me. So I was, my thought was we could do the same, a similar kind of journey just in the world of Japanese games. So active learning in context with images to help connect new things, the things you already know. Cause that's really what learning is. Connecting new information to information you already have. And people here have tons of information about games that they can hook things onto. Ah, demo, so ne. Ah, but that's true. Redberry to suisei wo kuretara. So if you give me a red berry and say sui, so like holy water, then I might think about it. Hmm. What, do you have some complaint? So if you shake a tree, then it seems like they will fall. To fall. Eh? Yeah, I think we got enough about these trees. I think we've talked to her enough. Yeah, in the beginning, furigana certainly helps. Ah! Yoru ni natta. Now night time. Hmm. Yeah, visual novel recommendation lists, for example, are in abundance. Yeah, I highly do recommend visual novels if you feel like you're up to one. It helps the more reading you can have in a game, the more exposure, the language, the better. Even if you don't understand everything, I find you can get a lot out of it still. But it's really just what you enjoy doing. Uma no fun. Interesting. So we got some uh, horse manure. <laughs> Uma is horse. Fun is like droppings. Yeah, yeah. It really helps if they have voice acting for the whole thing. I like when the main character has voice acting too in her visual novel. I highly recommend this one for Switch. There's a long free demo on the Japanese store, Raging Loop. Raging Loop. It's very good, in my opinion. It's my favorite visual novel. Uh, to be fair, I've only played several. But this one I thought was very good. There's a very long demo that you can get from the Japanese store. It comes out this month for the first time in English. It's that good that it's getting translated. And uh, it's that good too that there's like seven novels of the game too. It's so good there might eventually be other things like manga, anime, I wouldn't be surprised someday. It's, in my opinion, very high quality in terms of writing, which I like, I like good writing and good characters. I saw one time in chat, someone mentioned they played the game, but I missed the comment. I sometimes miss comments. But whoever wrote that and said they played it, hope you enjoyed it.
I feel like we didn't fully explore up here before. Part of this game is breaking bases, yeah, and exploration in general. Yeah, I'm not sure if that dog route is the best way to get through here. I think there are other ways. So maybe just talk to some other people. Yeah, I think we read... Yeah, we read this. So they're looking for their friend. And he's somewhere around here. Choya says Pokemon's nice because you can access Japanese language without hassle. Yeah, that is nice. Plus they have Kirigana options. Oh uh, yeah, congrats on the new emote. Arigato. Yatta is the new emote for anyone who subscribes. You can get our five tier one emotes now. Huh, seems like not probably where we need to go. Yeah, Choya, I haven't seen you on my stream that much. Junkcracker is here quite a bit, but Junkcracker too. You guys play a lot of Japanese games. As do I. But I, I talk all the time. I'm curious, you two guys, what are your favorite Japanese games you've played? Just in general. Just in terms of enjoying the language, enjoying the game. What are some of your top Japanese games that you've played? Might help inspire other people to try those games if they're watching on YouTube later or something. And anyone else in chat, if you have some Japanese games you've played in Japanese. <laughs> Check this guy out. He's uh, he's into it. Ski ski daisuki. So he's confessing his love to this dancer girl here. Junk Racker, you'd be surprised. I've done almost 100% of my playing of Japanese games on Twitch. Ah, so I'm no expert. Okay. I know Choya's done a lot. Honestly, for Japanese, I've mostly played visual novels. Do you have a favorite? So, Raphael says, right now I'm playing Yokai Watch. Ooh, that seems like a good one. I believe there's Furigana on that, and it seems like it has some good language to it, from what I've seen. I'm enjoying Don Danganronpa, visual novel. And yeah, Junk Junkracker's streaming that, so check them out. Uh, Zero Escape. Yeah, I played a bit of Zero Escape. I did enjoy it. I didn't finish the one I was playing. Uh, v Sketch, Konnichiwa. Why did the witch break up with the ghost? I do not know. Yeah. Diana chan no odori wa itsu mitte mo saiko da. So we see this word saiko again, the best. So every time I see it, her dancing is. The best. Uh, Dragon Quest Builders 1 and 2. Yeah, it's too bad not having the voice, but it is nice. And Zero Escape, agreed, fun series. Cool, some other games here. Let's see what Diana has to say in response. She was not here during the day because she was in the other part of the city. So Yokai watches Furigana, good to know. Ara Kono machi de wa mikakenai boya. So you are a boy I have not seen in this town before. Sate wa anata mo watashi no fan kashina. So are you my fan as well? If so, relax. Take your time. So could it be that the boy is usually here watching me dance is not here? Could he be playing hide and seek? We learned this yesterday on Japanese Quest. Kakurenbo. Hide and seek. I think we need to find this boy. Because everyone's talking about this boy. So we need to search this village for this boy. And this is why. Anoko, so that kid. Irona no Tokuroni, so in various places. 
隠れてるなら、or から。So because he's hiding in various places, 街中の噂話。So this is why we need it. He hears all the rumors of this town. 噂 Rumor, 噂話 people talking about rumors. So he knows all these rumors. And she's always excited to hear them. Hyperion, yeah, have you played that in Japanese? Ah, they, it's the same maker of Zero Escape, did not know that, but the game looks quite cool. Interesting. Ah, Yellow Ninja, konnichiwa. We are still going. Good to see you, a bit earlier today. Someone give me their <laughs> Yoji Jukugo of the day. Well, I told you mine before, the first one I ever learned. Iseki Nicho. Let's look it up. Ah, check it out. This is. I realized that we had a bot. The night bot. So, this night bot thing is new. Chikara is rising, so our power level is rising. And I kind of thought it'd be funny to, like, battle. Compete between YouTube and Twitch, because I feel like I'm not sh totally sure which one will reach over 9,000 first. In terms of followers. So, if you want to subscribe on YouTube, want to follow on Twitch, the goal is to see which one can reach over 9,000 first. So that's a new bot that you might see occasionally here. In general, I don't like bots that much, but I like the idea of a bot with a certain mission, maybe. Ah, uh, yeah, Cyber Kitty, I did play Final Fantasy X many years ago. It's true. Ah, uh, yeah, Vsketch, we do have a YouTube. If you look at that post up there, there is a link on it. Plus, we have the commands now. The commands are activated. Ah, uh, yeah, show ya. That's a good one. Do that for your one of the day. It's a very good one. I will upvote it. Nay, I will retweet it. Gotta go hard. Gotta jump over the fire. Okay, this is a problem with this game. One time when I was in Japan, there was kind of a... a jet party. And... there was a fire on this beach in Japan. Everyone was kind of doing fireworks and... Having a bit of beer and food, I believe, and on this beach in Japan, I jumped over the fire. You can jump over fires, I don't recommend it. But I was in my swimming suit and I was like, wet from the sea anyway. So I felt like that would armor me. Don't do that, I don't recommend it. But you can jump over fires. You, you don't get blocked by an invisible wall, it's not realistic. It's one foolish thing I did in Japan that I probably should not have done. So let's find this kid now. Where is he? Eh? <laughs> Guga. I think someone uh, might have drank too much. Where is this kid? I know it's up one of these ladders, right? Let's try this one. How many hours do you stream per day? Good question. Uh, usually, we've been streaming lately. Two to three hours, I would say. Ah, that was fail. What did I just do? Where am I? Okay. Wait, this side? Can you get on this side? I don't think we've been here. Can you get up there somehow? Oh, wait a minute. You can climb up. This could be good. Dokora. So yeah, again, everyone's looking for this one kid, so it must be up here. Zenzen Mitsukaranaya. So I can't find him at all. Because he's an expert at hide and seek. Tatsujin means expert. Kakurenbo no Tatsujin. Choya, why are you still awake? I forgot you're in Japan. The life of an English teacher in Japan. 
It brings back memories. Ogretron has summoned a dragon. What is this? Am I imagining a a robot ogre Ogretron summoning a possibly robot dragon? Okay. That seems about right. Okay, so where were we at? We must be able to get somewhere from here, right? Eh? Yeah? Not I. I'm not understanding this game. Ah, unbox this. Konnichiwa. Get some dragon hype in the chat. Um, is this seriously a... Oh, wait. There's a rope. This game's confusing me. Seeing these ropes and things at night is not easy. We got some dragon hype in the chat. What are we up to? 69 dragons! 69 dragons! It's a lot of dragons. Suge. Can't, I honestly can't believe that we're up to 69 subscribers right now. I did not think there'd be that many subscribers to an education channel on Twitch. Some milestone at 25. We need 25, uh, 75 concurrent viewers is what we need. Yeah. But subscribers helps to unlock more emotes down the road, so that helps too. But we currently have max emotes for our affiliate, we gotta make partner by averaging 75 viewers plus over a month. Plus you have to apply and it's not guaranteed. But my guess is that they might want educational streamers. So I think we'd make partner if we get to that level. That's my guess. Jason Fisher says you have a really unique stream so it makes sense. Yatta69. I'm currently failing to navigate these systems up here. Maybe we can find those berries. Yeah, they really do. We were talking about that last night, too. They need language tags. They need educational category, for sure. Someone who was here yesterday asking the best category for educational. Let's see if we can find this berry, possibly. Ah, uh, yeah, Cyber Kitty. I am kind of impressed, too. I think you can get partner if you talk to some Twitch admin. Some people get it with the same quantity of viewers. Yeah, I think it's possible. I think... I don't know the internet workings of Twitch, but I've heard people can get partner with less than that many viewers. Depending on their content depending on the theme and if Twitch wants that kind of partner. The cool thing is if we became a partner, we could start some kind of Japanese teaching team, possibly. Could be kind of interesting. Ah, nice! You watched two episodes of Terrace House last night because you recommended it. Really useful because of the Japanese subs. It's kind of entertaining. Yeah, it's really good. In my opinion, it can get really entertaining if you get into the story and characters eventually. But yeah, that kind of thing, maybe not, maybe not for everyone. Choya says, I know that event organizers have good odds of getting partnered. Really? Yeah, the kind of that kind of stuff I've never really... I feel like I'm bad at networking. And community type of... I don't know, bringing together. So, we'll see. Bacon, welcome! We now have Bacon as a party member. Very useful. Oh, I attacked the wrong guy. But good to hear from some other streamers how one does make partner. We saw I've been here a few days ago. Maybe it's not that difficult. Yeah, we've seen, I think, a couple of wrenches, if that's what admin is. But it, I don't know what that really means. But perhaps it means that we're on the radar, or at least some people that work at Twitch. Ah, so this is that berry. And I think the holy water we could possibly buy. I don't know why it defaults to attack the different one. Don't they understand that it's good to like attack the one that's weakened? 
Ah, uh, yeah, unbox this. Sounds good. Let's do that. Bacon says, I saw you on recommendations. Thought I'd check you out. Cool. Good to see you. By the way, anyone joining, I'm a Japanese teacher. My name is Akira, Japanese teacher in the U.S. What we do on this channel every time we stream is we teach Japanese through Japanese games. One thing we do is we find words like katsu, like we just won this battle, so we can say, Ah, katta, yatta, katta. Uh, so we won. I say yatta because we have a new emote for that. But uh, we break down the language, we learn new words, we uh, break down the sentences in the game. For example, takarabako o otoshiteita. So takara is the kanji for treasure, bako, box, a treasure box. Takarabako o otoshiteita. So dropped the treasure box. That's what we do. So we got keimono no kawa. Interesting, we learned this word yesterday actually. It means leather. But in this one you might say like the skin of an animal. Can mean like the skin of an animal too, which obviously is what leather is. Uh, keimono, it's like a beast or an animal. But yeah, for the uh, comment earlier, I'm glad you enjoyed Terrace House again. I highly recommend it watching with Japanese subtitles. Studies have shown that watching with no title, title, no subtitles is better than watching with English subtitles. But the best in terms of retention for your reading and listening is watching with Japanese subtitles. Maybe sometimes watching with no subtitles too. Because obviously in real life you don't have subtitles. Your minor in translation studies. Ah, cool minor. Yeah, I've done some translating into English. But uh, after a while, I decided doing this kind of project for me seemed more interesting, even though I probably could make more translating. I kind of like making my own content. If possible. Okay, so let's see if we can find this water, or let's just talk to the girl first. Maybe she will... Maybe we have what we need, I don't know. Yeah, Cyber Kitty, that's what I wonder too, like, if you'll ever be able to just upload learning into your brain. It seems possible. With what we know about the brain, I feel like... It seems with them in the realm of possibility. Like, our brain is just electrical impulses, it seems reasonable that you could somehow upload or store information, or transfer information there somehow, but probably not in the near term. So, same thing. So, do we have the stuff? I don't know. Can you just give us the option? I don't want to read all your text right now. I recommend don't read every single word you see all the time in Japanese games. Sometimes some words are just annoying that you would even skip in English. You can skip those in Japanese, too. Uh, so let's find the shop. Where is the shop? Must be these people, maybe? Irashai! So they got something. Yasukete oishi yasai wa ikaga desu. So how about some uh, delicious, cheap vegetables? Yasai, vegetable. Namare tebere no wa, so eating them fresh, o susume dekimasen ga, I cannot recommend, but if you cook them, they're pretty good. What? Can I not buy them? I think this is not the right place. Maybe not here? Eh? Matrix 1, 2, 3 in Japanese voice? Yeah, you can definitely find it somewhere. I think I've maybe even seen a bit of it. I enjoy looking up movies I like with Japanese voices. Shows, too. Like, my favorite show growing up was Star Trek Next Generation. In Japanese, it's 
Shin Star Trek, the new Star Trek. And uh, the voice for Data is the voice, same voice actor for Jiraiya Sensei in Naruto. So I really enjoy watching that. I haven't seen that much of it, but on YouTube there's some clips. Ah, maybe here. Maybe not, though. She looks like... Fortune Teller. Ah, Junk Wrecker, thanks for answering there. Let's see here. Hee hee hee. Yokoso, welcome! Himerura no Yakate. So, welcome to, uh. What's a good name for, like, a house of fortune telling? Let's just say that. Uh, Yoku Ataru Renaya Imarara Muriora. So right now my fortune telling is often correct and it is free. Pear bears don't... Wait, polar bears don't eat penguins? Good to know. It's the most informational screen name I've ever seen on this, so thank you for that. Is that true, by the way? I'm guessing it probably is. So, Dorai, how about it? Do you want to get your fortune told? I'm going to say yes. Hi. Uh, you are welcome, and that's true. Yatta! I like living in a world where polar bears do not eat penguins, so I'm gonna say, I'm gonna try our new emote today with the Yatta for that situation. There we go. So, man, man to zero. Ah, hello, by the way. Just checked my English Blu ray of the Japanese has both Japanese audio and subtitles. Is that like the normal one, or are you like. Getting that in Japan. Is that the standard English Blu-ray? Because that's awesome if that's the case. Cyber B has summoned a dragon. Yatta ze. Oh, check it out. English US release Blu-ray has Japanese. Let's get some Japanese voice hype for the Matrix. Let's do a stream on that someday. That would be kind of interesting. Not sure if you can do that, but that... In... Theory could be cool. So Sasoku. So this is like her magic words. Deroron, Deroron, Derukarada. So that's the name of the kingdom, plus some interesting words there. Yeah, on Twitch you probably can't, unfortunately, but it, hopefully someone has that Blu-ray. I can check it out sometime soon. Mieta! I've seen it! Your fate! So I see the misfortune that will attack you, that will come upon you. So, misfortune, it's this word here, fuko. So if you keep going like this, anta hidoi me ni aoyo. So something bad will happen to you. Shikashi. But you can, you can relax. So if you uh, sprinkle this, you can uh, avoid misfortune. Ah, EJ, konnichiwa. We are now up to 70 dragons, 70 subscribers on Japanese Quest. With this new kind of a... Uh, what's it called? The stream manager? I see that live like I didn't before. Kind of cool to see in real time. Welcome, everyone. Uh, Young Manic says, kind of like how you find full movies on YouTube. Uh, what are you referring to? Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, yeah, uptime. We have an uptime command now, too. Thanks for trying that out. Been going for one hour and 15 minutes. Only hi says, I recently got into learning Japanese with Stardew Valley because of your stream. Yatta! Yes! Japanese is a fun language. All languages, I think, could be fun to learn. The cool thing about Japanese, there are so many Japanese games that you can learn a lot from Japanese games. I don't recommend it as your full study plate, but as like a side dish, there's a lot of side dishes. Uh, Carcinogen says, do you reset with the words between games? Uh, do you mean the words at the bottom? These words at the bottom... Yeah, these words cycle every minute 
up to around, I think we go up to around 900, and we can add more. One of our party members made a tool to make these automatically. I used to make them by hand up to 800 or so, or 900 or so, uh, but now we can make these. This is all of our first power level words, and they are the same every time. Because these are the words we learned first, are the most common words in Japanese games. So it's kind of a catalog of where we've been with Japanese games. Words like Niku, we learned playing Breath of the Wild. Yasai, vegetable, we just learned about that here, but we saw that also in Breath of the Wild. So it's really just a log of where we've been on this Japanese quest. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? And also, our power level goes up as we find new words, and we level up in the world of Japanese Quest. It's kind of a mixed world situation. Current power level is 1402. So all the words we learned, Yama, Mountain, Neko, Cat, Umi, Sea. This is a world built with words. So the more words we find, the more words we unlock in our shared subconscious world here, the world of Japanese Quest. Japanese Quest to no. Sekai. That's the plan. So Polar Bear says, I already love this channel. Sweet. Okay, let's see here. So, uh... <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. So originally, this kind of like magic dust that will make your bad luck go away was uh very expensive ichiman so uh, 10,000 gold check out our gold right here so originally it was 10,000 gold honlai ichiman gold wa suru kokyu hin so very high value item 10,000 gold imanara but if you, go, you buy it right now only 100 gold tata no 100 gold de eh Okay, should we get it? I feel like she's trying to rip us off, so let's vote, though. Uh, for height. In chat, you can vote saying height. If you want to write it in English, you can. Oh, or ie, no. Which do you think? Should we get this? Should we spend 100 gold on this dust to take away bad luck? I think we shouldn't. I'm going to vote ie this time. But let's open it up to the full party members. So I'm seeing another... Yeah, I'm seeing a couple for height. I'm seeing another one for height. I'm seeing another one for height. Eh? It's a scam. I know it's a scam. Anyone else? I see another one for EA. <laughs> I see another one for height. We're going to waste money this uh, playthrough, it looks like. I'm going to say nah for EA. I see another one for EA. I see... I'm thinking EA might win. Is my count correct? Oh no, we have more height. Okay, next one will be the tiebreak. Next vote. The next vote. Uh... <laughs> okay. Carcinogen SDA votes height. That was the tiebreak, I think. I did say the next one will tiebreak. So we will go height. Hee hee hee. Kashikoi san Ah, it's a very smart decision. So so, go ahead, take this. Oh wow, this is what we needed though! We did need that! I totally thought we were just getting totally ripped off, but I think we needed that. So like, yeah, thank you for writing it, Joya. Holy water. So this will help us to avoid our our fate of being. Yeah, this is not a word that I've seen before. Uh, let's look this word up. Koten. So koten is like classic works that I have seen. This thing in uh. Yeah, Kotenpan, so in Katakana, completely defeated, beaten to a pulp. So not a common word, but I have not seen that before. 
but black and blue, beaten up, looks good. So to avoid being beaten up, beaten to a pulp, we can get that. Nicely done. Hmm. So what? They're selling the same thing at the uh, item store for much cheaper? Oh no, we were ripped off. So yeah, I did, I did not... I did not know that. Shinamini, by the way, Uchi... Hinpin Fuka Jakara Yoroshiku. Yeah, or Henpin Fuka. So yeah, you cannot make any returns. Uh, henpin. Kind of got messed up there because looking at the uh, Furigana, but it was so small. So Henpin is to return goods. So Hen is to return. Hin is goods. And then Fuka means not possible. So Henpin Fuka. Not possible to return things. Oh well. So let's see if we can get through here now. We have the things that we need. Where were we? Eh. I'm losing my way. The other way is where we go. Thank you, Ambushes. I think finally we may make, make it through here. We have what you need. Okay. So, Onanoko ni, so to this girl, Redoberi to, so Redberry and Seisui, holy water. Watashimasu will you give it to her? Hai. Ah, so it was, Masaka. Honto ni, motteru nda. Or, motteru, motte kuru nante. See, sometimes I read a different ending because I kind of am imagining what the ending will be because there's common endings in games, but the ending's a bit different there. Hora! Draco. So, hey look, Draco. It's uh, your favorite. Red berries. So I'll give you half. One. Ufufu. Oishine. So delicious, isn't it? Ato wa kono yo so if I then sprinkle this holy water. Okay, now go outside the city. So now we can go get some food. Look for some food safely. Even if we're injured by a monster out there. Ah, uh, that's an interesting comment that I've never considered, but that would be cool. I wish there was an Oregon Trail, a Japanese Oregon Trail. I'm guessing that maybe there's something similar to Oregon Trail in Japanese. Interesting message there. Try to translate the intro to Biohazard 2. Some of my people were saying it's JLPT 2 level stuff. Took me an hour to do one minute intro. Yeah, that could work maybe. Tokaido Trail. Cybercity says, Akira, did you struggle a lot when you first blind play through Final Fantasy X in Japanese? Yeah, I did. I only probably understood, uh, I don't know, 20 to 50% depending on the sentence. Uh, you know, or less sometimes. But I just kind of enjoyed going through and seeing how much I could understand, even if I didn't understand most of it. Uh, how long did it take to me for me to be at this proficiency? Off and on, I've been studying for, I don't know, a number of years, it's hard to say. But for hardcore study, for like JLPT, like full-time study, I'd say roughly like two years, two, three years. But I've improved since then, too, so it's hard to answer that kind of question. I've been studying off and on Japanese for over 10 years. Let's see, but I, there were 70 years I didn't really study, so it's been kind of off and on. So, nani yo? So what? Nanka. 
Monku Aru, what do you have some complaint? Monku is like a complaint. Yeah, starting hardcore, the main thing I recommend is find something that works for you and do it every day. And yeah, it really is like Junkrecker says here. Isho no tabisa. It's really a journey over a lifetime. So really, if you want to be fluent in a, jet, in a language like Japanese, it's easy. Just start studying and then do it the rest of your life. Easy. Two things. Two steps. Ma. Yakusokurashi. Well, I did promise. Dorako wa kashite agere. So I, I will lend my dog to you, but... Kuregure mo... Teicho ni atsukate, atsukate. So, but please be good to him. Ah, deaf. Yokozo. Welcome. Hora. Dorako. Kono ni chan to... Asonde agenezai. So please play with this Nichan here, this big brother here. Japanese studies a quest for life. Well put, Raphael. Only hi, good question. I am completely of the mindset that uh you don't need to translate every single thing at all for books either. In fact, when you're starting, it will be impossible to do that. And you'll get burned out if you do that. What I recommend, whether you're reading a book or playing a game, is progress. Whatever you can do to make progress is the important thing. You need a feeling of accomplishment. So all these arrows that are badly drawn, all that means is you need to keep moving. Keep doing it every day. Make progress. And, uh... Because if you read rather quickly at, like, say... 50% understanding... Versus... 100% understanding, but very slowly... With the 50% understanding quite quickly, in say an hour, you might cover, I don't know, let's say 5,000 words, say. Whereas if you're going really slow looking up every word, you'll hit like 50 words. So which is better, 50 words in an hour or 5,000 words in an hour at 50%? My opinion, almost every time, Greater exposure is better. So you really want to go for distance. Once in a while, having a mode where you look up everything can be nice. I'd start out reading like that when I was starting. But then do it for like a page or two, then jump to this mode. Make some progress. Then you can switch back and forth. It's good to have both gears. First gear, second gear, maybe other gears too. Let's stop writing now. But that is my advice. Conroe, welcome. So let's use this dog now. Oh, is this, is this dog following us? Check this out. We got a dog now. Ooh, should this be our thumbnail today? Can we get, like, a good angle on this dog? Let's see if we can get a good angle on the dog. Linui, Linui men. Not sure if I can say that, but welcome. Yokoso, Japanese customer. Yeah, fourth gear. That sounds good, too, Greg T. What would fourth gear in Japanese be, I wonder? Yeah, yeah, Junkcracker, it is high starting out. I'm just giving kind of an example. But whatever that percentage is, I think coverage at times can be a good mode to have. Because you still get used to things even if you're not 100% on it. You get used to it. it. It finds its way into your subconscious and eventually it starts to stick more. Alright, so let's uh, talk to the guard now maybe? So stop right there. So through this gate uh, is only for the people who live in the uh, the rich people castle town. So suspicious people like you, there's no way we can let you through. Ayashi, suspicious. So we are Ayashi Mono, suspicious people. Let's see if our dog can help us out here. So Young Manic says, also how I learned Chinese. Ah, nice. I mixed the earlier part. Do you mean through games did you learn Chinese or through reading? Can you say that again? Hehe. <laughs> 
<laughs> so please, anything but not a dog. Not a dog. <laughs> yeah, I do recommend the same talks by Crash and... The idea that just as much input as you can get with the language... The evidence seems quite strong that that is really what you need. Just turn up a gauge in your life for how much you can expose to that language. Turn it up as much as you can. Understand as much as you can. Uh, eventually, you will start to pick up more than you, you think. And yeah, Yellow Ninja, I believe we talked about that in my master program as well. Yellow Ninja, six levels of comprehension, knowledge, right, comprehension, application, analysis, synthesis, evaluation. Yeah, I do remember that, I believe. Okay, so he's saying, Yatara! Ah, good time. Uh, we're talking about some language acquisition people out there. Research people, if you're into that. Okay, so Yatara! Here's a new emote if anyone wants to do the emote, now's a good time. So, Akira! Yatana! So, Imanouchi, now is the time, so he ran away from the dog, I guess. So, Joka Machi no Shiro no Chikaku ni aru. Deku no Mise. So, let's go to this store. Deku no Mise. E, Ikose. So, let's go. Great to be, Yatta Yatta! Well used. Our new emote. So, it looks bigger on Twitch, it's quite small on the video screen I have here. But it looks pretty good on Twitch. Yeah, I agree, Cyber Kitty. If you find the right videos, there are certainly some good ideas for kind of the big idea of how to learn a language. I mean, YouTube in general for learning is a great resource for the world. Of course, there's plenty of bad videos out there. Uh, but there's tons of good content, too. Okay, so we finally made it back to this uh, the richer side of town. I don't know why I did that. Try to do my map. Uh, how do you do the map in this game? Here we go. So we want to go closer to... Ah, we see it, actually. Closer to the castle. So we see Deku no... Mise. So Mise means store, so we want to go to his store, this big house here, near the castle where we were captured below before. Yeah, kind of like the internet in general, it's a great source of information and misinformation. So we need to gain the skills of kind of sorting through that. Uh, Polar Bear, not totally sure on your question, but maybe if you ask again, someone can help you there. Shiteruka, so do you know? Shiro no kara, so from the dungeon under the castle. Yusha to tokayu no ga nigerashitarashi. So it seems that someone called the hero has escaped. That is us, by the way, he does not know. Uh, so according to what I've heard, So it seems like he is some frightening Yatsu, some frightening fellow who is trying to do harm to the world. So, So you better be careful as well. Yeah, Genki Dama Spirit Bomb. Yeah, we used to make Spirit Bombs with language when I started Japanese Quest. We haven't done that so much, but we used to have a thing where... Uh, let me actually show you this thing we haven't used for a long time, this uh, graphic. Check it out. Look at the bottom right. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? So we had this Spirit Bomb graphic. Look at the words coming into the Spirit Bomb. Gaining these words to remind us, let's uh, power up with the power of language. That's what that is. Haven't used that for a long time. Let's see, uh... Where's the other thing? 
Spirit Bomb, Saturday. Anyway, you get the idea. Yeah, it didn't really catch on, so we didn't use it, but the idea was we'll gain spirit, we'll gain words from uh, suggestions from people all over the internet. Is that they will like especially emphasize power level, finding new words in the game. So you better be careful as well, he's saying. And uh, EJ, thank you for the uh, answer there. Katakana is often used for emphasis, can also be to make things easier to read as well to bring your eye to something. So there's a lot of reasons. It can just be a style thing. Um, many reasons Katakana is used. That's maybe our number one question we've had on Japanese Quest, I feel like, at this point. Because Katakana pops up in a lot of interesting places and people are always thinking, hmm, why is that Katakana? Hmm? Joka machi no deku no misu wo sukashiteru. Sagashiteru. So you're looking for Deku's store. Ah. Okane mochi no sumu area ni. So it's where the, the rich people are. So nanamae no hito no yashiki ga ataki ga suru. So I think someone's mansion by that name is there. Tsuide ni ii koto wo oshiete aru. By the way, let me teach you something good. So from the roof of this house, so if you use the rope, so if you use the rope, you can go to where the, the rich people live. By the way, so to the roof, jump so you will not be able to make it unless you jump. Eh? Really? Uh, jump with it anyway. So to jump, you want to press the B button. So B button. Notice how B button is in katakana. For a foreign word, obviously, that makes sense. Um, jump as well. Jump. I remember we played Mario Odyssey in Japanese. That's the word they use for Mario jumping. So also to push, so push the uh, B button, this mm. In the uh, recent Japanese grammar book I was reading for Japanese people, it was called Nihonji no Tameno Nihongo Bunpo Nyumo. So like an introductory book for Japanese people, for Japanese grammar. They explained that using this N here, it's a certain, it gives a mood to the sentence. The mood it gives is a mood of explanation. Setsume no mudo, is what they said in the book. It's a good way to think about using that n for the no des at the end. I just finished that book and now I'm reading a super long book in Japanese that I'll probably be reading for like, ever. I started, do you know this book? One... How do you write the... Yeah. 1Q84. It's a Murakami book. It's 1650 pages. I've been putting it off because it's kind of like a, a boss book. I knew I'd be reading it for months if I read it. So I'm now reading that in paper. It's gonna be a while. I put that one off for a while. I've read some other books from Murakami. I have all three parts and uh... I'll be going hard on that one for a while. But it's good sometimes to have a long book like that because then you can really dig in for a long time and get used to the way it's written. I recommend if you're just reading for the first time, sometimes it can be good to have a long book or at least a long series. Maybe not a long book. When I read a long book like the fourth Harry Potter book in Japanese, it almost killed me at the time. I almost quit because it was so long. So maybe I don't recommend that. But... Reading, for example, the Kino series, which is a long series, which is lots of short stories, you can feel you're making progress, I found to be very useful for starting to read Japanese books. Oh no, don't fall, please. The good thing about reading long books and series like Harry Potter, though, too, 
is you just get used to that writing. So by the end of it, or even by the middle of it, it becomes much easier. And by the time you finish all of it, because it's quite long, you'll be so good that other books will seem much more approachable. So I recommend reading a lot of the same author. Once you master it, you'll be ready for a new author. Okay, are we here now? I think we are. So some comments there. Must be very hard to read Murakami in Japanese since his writing is difficult by itself. Uh, actually, it's pretty easy. It's, I mean, it's not easy, but it's on the easy side in terms of Japanese literature. Uh, most people seem to say that, so not just me. My first book I ever read in Japanese, in fact, was Murakami. I read Hard Boiled Wonderland, The End of the World, then Kafka on the Shore. My, Kafka on the Shore is my second book ever in Japanese, both were in paperback. After that, I realized, though, reading on Kindle with a dictionary built in is much easier to start out. So I started reading books on Kindle. I read all the Harry Potter books, read all the Kino books, and a bunch of other books as well. I've read about 150 books now in Japanese. My goal is probably not to read another English book until I get to at least 200. Okay. We see that star over there. You see the star? Legend is that is the star of the hero. So that's the star of us, apparently, because we're the hero. Uh, can you use a dictionary on any Kindle? Yeah, I have a Kindle that I got on the US store, and it works for Japanese books. I buy my books in the Japanese store. You can make a Japanese Amazon account and use this credit card from your country. That's what I do. The only thing you need is a Japanese address. You can just make that up. I use my old address from like when I lived there 10 years ago. So same thing again, we're talking about the people that escaped from prison. Datsugoku, to escape prison. Um, Datsugoku shiwa, Joka machi no soto ni. So the people who escaped from prison went outside the castle town. Mukata to yu asaga aru ga. So there's a rumor they they left. Manga ichi, but in the small chance they could be here. Yeah, that could be a problem, too. Ah, cool. Greg 2B Pro says, got some intro Japanese storybooks on Kindle. Very cool. Cool thing about Kindle, too, you can get the Kindle app for free. And with books, you can... All the books there, you can get a free sample. Kind of like we're playing the free demo here. The free sample for some books... For example, I got the free sample for a, a super long book, like Game of Thrones in Japanese. That free sample, I think, is like, I don't know, 100 pages or something. It's like a book by itself. So if you get a free sample, you'll see if you like the writing, you can try it, get it if you want it. Ah, Garbage Greg, welcome. Antamo So you, yeah. You better just not just loiter around. Be careful. Yeah, you can get a free free sample of all Kindle books as far as I know. Like it doesn't give you the whole book, but it'll give you like the first chapter or two chapters sometimes. Sometimes like a good amount of the book, depending. Koko Shizuka de Iwayone. Okay, so Koko here. So this fountain is quiet and Iwayone. It's a nice place. Arasoi to wa muen te kanji sa. So it's completely separated from like quarrels, battles. Relax and I can relax here. You can see relax there in katakana. Yosh. 
Only Hanai says, yeah, I got used to read more in kanji and kana. Also, more apps and games are in Japanese then, too. Yeah, the cool thing is, it's more and more available. The more there is available out there, the more you can study. And find ways to study. Huh. Kono Atari. So Atari we see again. It's like this area. Washi no yona okane mochi shika sumukoto ga yurusarare basho nanja. So only rich people like me are allowed to live here. Dakara, so because of this, or therefore, sumigogochi wa batsugunja jawai. So because of that, the comfort, the ease of living is. The best. <laughs> I like the, uh... I like the comment, but... Might be... Might be only half a level. For example, it might give you like, I don't know, 10 points on the test. <laughs> Just an estimate. So 70 subscribers currently, I guess 70 subscribers are now getting uh, that benefit. It's possible that we're wrong. <laughs> Check this guy out. Kochira Ijo Nashi. So nothing's out of the ordinary here. Ijo Nashi. Ijo Nashi. He's still saying it. Ijo Nashi. So Ijo is something out of the ordinary. So, the hero is literally running circles around him, and he's saying, Ijo nashi. He's looking for the devil child. We're right here. Nothing to see. <laughs> Ijo nashi. <laughs> eh? So do we have to wait for it to be day? Because I think this is where we need to go. N0? Yeah, there's definitely an N0. At least in theory. Which is to say, N1 is not all there is to learn in Japanese. That's kind of the beginning in a way, too. I mean, even native speakers of Japanese, they have lots to learn. I mean, native speakers of English, like me, I've got lots to learn in English. It's a lifelong journey, even in your native language, much less a second language. So now he's finally seeing his partner. We finally got to this guy. Nakanaka. So this is a pretty nice store, isn't it? Ah, uh, yeah, N1, N2. I mean, any N level. Depending on where you are in your journey with the language, is no joke. I mean, N5, I, I know people that have failed N5, and they've already learned a lot of Japanese. I know people who have translated for years and failed N1 like three or four times. And they're still fluent in Japanese, as far as most people are concerned. Uh, but having said that, a native would not fail N5 or N1, a native would pass it easily. So it's, it's all kind of relative. But passing any of them is an accomplishment, and, and it can be a good goal for your study. For me, aiming for N2, just aiming for it, not even taking it, helped me more than anything at that time. And aiming for N1, passing it, I also level up a lot. The test itself, maybe not so much, but having the goal to level up and pass it was helpful for me. <laughs> Funny, all these people in his past keep not noticing this dude right away. Uh, John Cracker says, consider natives know around 3k kanji, around 20 to 30k words, and one requires you to know yeah, about that much. Uh, for words, I I would go north of that, Junkcracker. With the old test, they said 10k, but the newer one, the N version, I usually see people saying more like 15k. That seems more in the ballpark of what my experience was. Um, but yeah, it's no joke. I mean, either way, it's very different than everything a native speaker will know. Okay, 
where are we? So yeah, all of my items here are the, of the highest quality. Ichiryu. Highest quality. Yeah, that's the thing. That's why it's somewhat easy to pass, because you don't need to get perfect on it. Yeah, it's a bit higher than 50%, but yeah, it's it's like, what, 55% or something? I don't remember. It's like 100 out of 180 or something around that. Um, and I think there's something to curve too. Anyway, uh, but still, even so, anyone here, try taking N1. It's no joke. I failed it once. The first time I failed it, second time I passed it, and uh, the first time, all the practice tests, I pretty much passed them, so... A big part of it is reading fast enough. Like on the N1 test, when I did the reading section with no time limit, I could get 100% on it. But then on the actual test, with time, at that time at least, I that 100% went to like... 60% or something. Maybe even less sometimes, because you have to read pretty fast. So it's really about reading not just well, but quickly. Okay, so, uh... I was kind of looking at comments, but here we go. Ja! Ichiru no Hoseki, so you have a... a first, do you have a first-rate jewel, then? Tatoeba, for example... Orb, the orb. Do you have the orb as well? Aniki! Aniki! So, big bro! I think that's how they translated Aniki in uh in one piece let's go with that so it's been a long time Deku. <laughs> so i'm so glad you're safe buji de yokatta zutto so I, I've been worried about you the whole time. And he's saying, Honmono no Aniki. So you're the real Aniki. You are not a ghost. Obake janai. Ha! Yeah, Deku. Deku. That name is used in uh, some popular anime too, isn't it? <laughs> ah, don't cling on to me. You're get away. You're smothering me. <laughs> so you're saying all this stuff being all cheery, but the fact that you have this store it means you betrayed me. Let's look at this word for betray. Uragiru. So, ore o uragite. So, you betrayed me and sold the orb. Obu o utta kane de. So, using the money from selling the orb, you started this store. Hajimetan janai, janai no ka. So, didn't you do that? Sell that orb, make the store, betray me. Betray the orb. Uragiru wa kinai yo! <laughs> so I did not betray you. Not even one day did I forget about you. So this store too, I started it to save you. So taskeru, to save. Taskeru tameni, so to save you. So, Aniki, o, you, Aniki, that's us. And I started the store to save you. Huh? 
なんだそれ大体元盗賊がやってるにしては随分立派な店じゃないかうん、mm. So you started to save me? What? For an ex thief, this is a pretty nice store, isn't it? I was a kid's wealth, but I was a kid's wealth. Hmm. So my skills as a thief were not very good. Nusumi is、uh, stealing. Nusumi no saino. So, ability as a thief were not very good.、Um, imaichi means not very good. Kind of a feeling of like, if I had a little bit more, it would be good. Because I am not so good where I am right now.、Uh, Shobai no sai no wa. So, as for skill at selling and buying, like as a merchant. So it seems like it did have that ability. Aniki got scamate, none took a inochi da kid with a skeoto, Iroiro Kanaita no yo, Hotoitara, Tuna Kidoiko to Sariluka. So once you were captured, I, I thought. Even if it's just your life, how could I save you? So, you know, you know, means various. So, I thought of various ways I might save you. You know, you know, kangaita. So, think of different ways. So, if I just let you be, I didn't know what terrible thing would happen to you. Ah,、uh, yeah, that word. Let's look at that word, EJ, that you mentioned. So, he's talking about, uh, What he's done with his business. So, trade, business, commerce, transaction, N3 word, common word. Show by. Let's copy it, see if we can add that to our power level. Let's power up with power of commerce today. Looks like we've not learned it. Good. Any other words there?、Um, I think most of those we probably have learned. If there are some, someone could look them up. But I think we're good for now. Let's make our power level go up to 1405. We are now leveling up on Japanese Quest. Take a look at the bottom right. Power level rising. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? Power level is now 1405. It's Yokonata, ne? We now have the power of commerce in here. So we got some,、uh, you might say, if I had the color green, I'd be drawing some money right here. I guess this is the gold coins, you might say. Thank you, Deku. Ah,、uh, good question. Does Jisho have a list of N1 words? Not that I know of. As a non native speaker, I always find Japanese way easier to pronounce.、Uh, that's a different comment, too. Um, yeah, that's actually what I did. Not on G Show, but I found an Anki deck. I found an Anki deck for N1 words. Or I possibly made my own deck. I don't remember exactly how I did it, but anyway, I used an Anki deck for N1. Then I handmade a deck, like sorting out all the words I already knew, for N2. And N3, just to fill in those gaps, because I had passed N2, but there's still lots of words in N2 and N3 that I wasn't totally sure on, so I added those into my Anki deck too. So I made one big deck with N1, N2, N3, and these are just the extras that I didn't already know.、Uh, and I went through all those words, and after doing that, it kind of unlocked reading Japanese books for me. Because even if I didn't know how to use all those words from a flashcard, I could then see them and know them and then read them in context and, and learn them quite quickly. I found that to be quite useful for me. Ah, so I picked up the orb. I lied. Uso, lie. So I lied 
told the king I picked it up and uh, gave it back to him. And with the uh, reward I got, I started a business. Hmm, and I worked from behind the scenes to give some money to the, uh, the, the guards in the castle to uh, help you from behind the scenes. So, kane, money, so use that money. Kane wa shiru no heishi ni, so the soldiers in the castle. Uh, Baramaite, so he distributed it among them to help him get out faster. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's be clear. I didn't do N4 and N5 because at that time I already knew all those words. Because I'd already done N2. So yeah, if you're starting from scratch, if you want to use those lists, the first level is N5. Up to N1. Okay, so the fact that there's a big hole in the bottom of my cell, is that why that is, huh? It does seem like there is strangely not enough security there. So he's saying, the show, the show, yeah, that must be, you must be right. So my bribe must have worked. So the word for bribe we see here in katakana. Waido, bribe. So when we look up that word bribe, we can level up at the power of bribes today on Japanese Quest, maybe. Okay, so Waido bribe. Notice in the game it was in katakana, this other form. Easier to read that way. We've now powered up the power of bribes. Nicely done. Back to the game. <laughs> nice face there. <laughs> Wakata uh. <laughs> understood. Sorry for uh, sorry for doubting you. Thank you, partner. Uh Chud Rock, good question. What plugin are you using to copy paste into G Show? It's uh, called Rikaikun. It's a Google Chrome plugin. If you just press C. When you have it, you can copy and paste and do a list like that. There's other plugins that are popular too. Not sure if it's the best one, but it's a good one. I'm glad you understand, he said. So, so what you're saying though, so he's saying, Kedo na. So that's good, but Kedo means like, but although. So if that's the situation, that we don't know where the orb is. Yukue, like where the orb ended up. And then Shirazu to not know. Yeah, Chudrock, you were welcome. I'm glad I could see your question, because a lot of them I do miss. So thanks, everyone in chat, for bearing with me. So if that's the case, then no problem. Daijobu, no problem. So... Relax. I've got you. Just come outside the store here. Come with me. So I guess he's got a plan. Yeah, it's a kind of fun activity, Garbage Greg. I'm glad you can empathize. Um, it's kind of sensory... <laughs> sense See, I can't even speak English. Because it is sensory overload. You got chat here. I'm thinking about that. You got words down here. I'm thinking about power level. I'm thinking about sentences. I'm thinking about the game, I'm thinking about translating the game, I'm thinking about playing the game, I'm thinking about this plate right here. I'm thinking about the kitty and how the kitties died a few months ago and like, I'm sad, do I want to mention that and how much I want to mention that and that's sad. 
I've got new cats coming on Saturday. I'm thinking about that. I'm thinking about when I should introduce those cats. So there's all kinds of cats, words flowing around in my brain, and I can't even speak English anymore. So thank you for uh, empathizing. It's a little tricky, streaming in general. Uh, it is not live, unfortunately. Griffin Sensei did pass away. He's still here in spirit on this journey. So, sorry if that uh, is sad for anyone. Trust me, it's more sad for me. Uh, we did one sad stream, if you want to find it. Uh, R.I.P. Rest in Peace stream. So, uh, Griffin Sensei is here still on this journey in spirit. He is the first party member here. So he is here, he will always be here in spirit, even if this video changes someday to the possibly new kitties that might be coming in soon. Ah, uh, yeah! There are names for the new kitties. I'm not sure if I want to announce them yet. I might want to announce it more officially later. But they are Japanese names this time. So we will see. Might take a little while to uh, for the kitties to join our journey. They might want to be shy at first. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, Garbage Greg, I agree. And there's more videos too. Sometimes this was live. So what are you talking about? Why are you saying you could be calm? Yep, there will be two new kitties. That news I can break. And uh, their names are probably decided and they will be in Japanese, but uh, probably won't be an announcement stream for them until they get over their kitty shyness. We'll see. Okay, so after I handed back the orb, so I used people to track where the orb went. So I always followed where the orb was because I knew that it was important to you. The word, the key word, important. Daiji, important. So he knew that to him, it was very important. If you like physics, there's some good physics channels on uh, Japanese Twitter, Japanese Facebook probably too. You can get updates with things like different physics discoveries. Pretty interesting. I follow one on Twitter. Ah, BRBN. Oagazaimasu, good morning. So it looks like General Greg, he brought the red orb to the south. Ah, Minami, south, Minami no Derukararu Shinden, so the south temple. He moved it there, and it's um, heavily guarded there. Ah, uh, we don't have a time command, we do have an uptime command, though. Uh, I don't know, but there's a lot of Gregs here. There's at least three Gregs I know of that I've posted in chat quite a bit. So, Derukararu Temple, you say? Ah, so it seems like that temple is probably in the same direction of where the main character lives, that cobblestone, Ishinomura. So, onaji, same. This is one of those words that in Japanese class, for some reason, I never learned. But Garbage Greg has summoned a dragon. Awesome! Imagining a dragon flying out from the garbage. Yidesne! We got some hype! It's okay to not be Greg. I'm not Greg either. I am Akira. So Onaji, same. So what I was gonna say is, Onaji means same. In Japanese class, I never really learned that, but in J when I lived in Japan, one of the first words I learned was this, because you hear it all the time. Onaji, Onaji. Same, same. This, this is the same, this is different. We got some Greg hype in the chat. How many Gregs can we have in chat? 
We need a Greg emote? <laughs> Maybe if we get more emotes. Ah, uh, we got Garbage Greg. Great Ape Greg, though, is not here. We only have Garbage Greg and Greg 2B Pro. We need Great Ape Greg. We need more Gregs. We have two Gregs now that are subscribed. Three Gregs are subscribed, actually. Great Ape Greg is subscribed, too. He doesn't have. Subscribe it. How do you got that? We're now 71 dragons. It's a lot. It's the same direction. Onaji Hogaku. Yeah, and I guess with people saying this in chat, Greg is the general he was talking about too, the General Greg. General Greg bought brought the orb to this temple. So we got a Greg in the game, and a Greg, at least three Gregs out of the game. So Gregs are at an all-time peak right now on Japanese Quest. So let's get a power up for all the Greg energy currently on Japanese Quest. We might have the greatest concentration of Greg energy anywhere in the world right now. Greg power level is rising. We are all today General Greg. We all have orbs. Let's go. Now let's get the orb. The red one at least. Time to change my name to Greg. <laughs> there you go. Uh, so he's saying, yeah, that sounds good. Let's go to that temple. And then, uh, do you want to come with two? So he's asking Deku if he wants to come as well. So another phrase I learned right away in Japan that I didn't know before I went to Japan was Isho. Isho ni. Together. So people are always going places together, so they say Isho ni kuru? Would you want to come together? So unfortunately I cannot go since I started my business uh, I have a I have a wife now so I can't just leave my store uh, yeah, well, even long before, so omae, you, omae wa mukashi. So long ago, and then cut off from, so from long ago, you said that you wanted to do business, and now you're doing it, so wakata yo, understand. So treat your wife well, take care of her. It's kind of a nice frame, this could possibly be our thumbnail. I feel like we have a kind of good balance here in this frame. Can you see a thumbnail there for YouTube, potentially? We haven't done one yet of this character. This is a pretty good angle on him. Alright, so let's get going. Thanks for the help. And then, uh, yeah, live well. Live healthy. Hmm. So this is something we saw before with uh, Final Fantasy Adventure. Watashi no Boon. So for me, as well, Boon means like part. So for my part, as well, I leave Aniki to you, so take care of him, he's saying, to us. So I hope you are well. Yeah, the question about uh, science jobs in Japan... I didn't answer because I have no idea, to be honest. My guess, though, from just what I'm vaguely aware of, is that it wouldn't be great necessarily, but again, I have no idea. Okay, so those guards there... Ah, we see this word we learned today. So we see it again. Topa. To break through. So topa. To break through. This is the arrow showing our trying to break through. Topa wa muri. So we can't break through here. Muri, impossible. So topa wa muri dana. Yeah, you know what? This is kind of a nice sentence. It involves our vocab word today. So let's add this today. Let's uh, level up with our sentence deck now. Anyone who can write this in chat, write this 
Not the whole thing, maybe. Let's just do this sentence. Just the top one. So, Minami Monwa, so the south gate. So, wa marking this as the topic of the sentence. So, as for this south gate here, Heishi Darakade. So, Darake means it's just crawling, it's just full with soldiers. We can see Ichi, Ni, San, Shi, Go, Roku. So, at least six there. Um, so, Heishi Darake means it's full of troops, lots of troops. Um, de. So, they kind of showing the condition having lots of troops. Uh, toppa wa muri da na. So breaking through is impossible. Toppa to break through, muri, can't do it, impossible. And then da, the na is kind of looking for kind of agreement, saying like, kind of impossible to break through, isn't it? So Kemi has it. Minami mono wa heishi da rake de toppa wa muri da na. Looks perfect. Let's unlock that sentence. Yatta, sentence is unlocked, and again, Greg Tupi has it as well. Nicely done. So, any new words here? We learned topa today to break through. Um, what about this word? Darake, to be full, to have a lot of something. Let's go to our power level. It's time to level up. So N1 word, common word. I'm surprised that's N1 actually, because you do see this a lot. But now that you mention it, before N1, I might not have seen it that much. I feel like it's more common though. Within N1, there's more common stuff and less common stuff. This one's pretty common. So full of, riddled with, covered with. Yellow Ninja, nicely done. You have it as well, it looks like. Darake, something that's full of something, often negative. Any other words there? Uh, let's see. Let's just make sure we've learned soldier. I think we have. Heishi. Soldier. Let's look at the kanji. So, hei by itself can mean soldier too, or troops. And then shi, gentleman, or samurai. The samurai radical. Let's copy it. Add that to our power level too. And uh, as expected, we have learned it, so let's not add that one for now. Uh, Moody, impossible. I'm sure we've learned that. Let's look at the rest of the sentence. Greg no buka ga haiteja. So if uh, it's Greg's subordinates, yeah, it's going to be difficult to bribe them. Again, we see Waido for bribing them. So Waido nigirasetete no tomo muzikashi. So it'll be difficult to bribe them. Hmm. Okay. Let's not do that for now. Let's find another way. Hmm. Okay, so it's going to be a bit of a roundabout route, but shikata ga nai. Shikata nai. There's no way around it. Um, derukadaru no oka no, so the hill of derukadaru. Minami no uramichi, so back path. Let's take that back path. Derukadaru shinden e mukao. So let's head for the temple that way. Another Greg? Where? What? Another Greg in chat? More than two? Or just two? I thought we might have had a third one. Uh, Eli's first time on stream. What is the browser plugin or add-on that you're using a hover kanji? Uh, it's Rikaikun. Do people think it'd be helpful to have an FAQ? Because I feel like certain questions for an FAQ, we have gotten a lot. Like, people would still probably ask them. And it's fine to ask them, by the way. But maybe an FAQ could be helpful. Some ideas for an FAQ could be katakana. Comes up all the time. Um, Rikai-kun comes up all the time. How to write on the screen comes up all the time. Uh, how I write on the screen comes up a lot. Uh, what else? Do you think that'd be helpful to have a... Oh, like commands like Rikai-kun? That could work. Make a command for Rikai-kun. Okay, but there's other ones too.
Yeah, something to think about. Yeah, Katakana could be a good one. Um, Rikai-kun could be a good one. Those have been the two main ones recently, haven't they? So he's saying, at the same time, we can go back to your village. So for the time being, let's go back to the lower part of the city. Cool, Elias, welcome. Started learning Japanese three weeks ago. Awesome. Yeah, this is a very unusual format. I don't recommend this for your only source of learning Japanese, but for a supplemental source. The cool thing about this is really five-fold. I don't, I don't know how many folds, but I'm going to say five-fold. Let's go with five-fold. First fold. The Japanese Quest community can help you answer questions because they have done what you're doing now. They started learning Japanese. Uh, next is uh, myself. I'm a Japanese teacher. I can help you out. Two, kind of unique experience on Twitch. Usually Japanese teachers you can't see for free directly online. Uh, plus you have the game. So that's three folds. One, two, three. A fun context to learn things in context. Uh, a fourth fun fold I like to think is the power level system. Learning words as we game. Those words you see down here are from previous games. So even if I fail, even if the first three folds fail you can at least look at these words and learn something the fifth fold a couple of different options but let's just say the cat to hopefully calm us down relax take a break i know japanese is hard it's hard for me too but uh if we work to like together we can uh, make it fun we can learn something today tomorrow just about doing it every day putting the time in Wow, Japanese tutor for 170 pounds an hour. Wow. When I tutored, I think I I charged $40 an hour. That was several years ago. Let's see. So, out where you're going is the uh, the jungle. Napugana Mitsurin, or jungle. Mayoi uh, Konara, so if you get lost in there, Nido to Derarena, you won't be able to escape again. It's a very dangerous jungle. Kiken na jungle. Is what I've heard. Yeah, forty dollars an hour. It is nice money. It's definitely a lot more than I'm making uh, on Twitch. But who knows? Possibly someday, if we do grow, could possibly make that amount on Twitch. We do have seventy-one subscribers, which I think translates to this month decent chunk of change. Let's see. Where are we here? Of course, when we started Japanese Quest, we had zero subscribers for a long time. So I'm not in this for the money, but uh, if I could do this full time, that would be awesome. Because that means that other people could probably do it too. Alright, so let's see here. So I've heard rumors about this jungle. But that's the only path we can take, so let's do it. Yep, Griffin's cheering us on despite any challenges there might be. If a cat can learn one word, we can learn more than one. All right, so we're going back, I think, to this town. Let's see. So let's look at the uh, Boken Gaido. So Boken's adventure, Gaido, our guide. And uh, so we go through that village. Right, so we're going Ishinomuro e Mukao. So we go back to that town that we're from through this jungle. The way we do that is go back to the lower city. So over here, let's see how we get through there. Let's 
Can we go through the main gate here? Ah, I think we can. Hmm. Oh, we can save. That might be smart. We haven't saved for a while. So let's pray. Inori, prayer. That's how you save the game. In this game, you can test your sins and pray. We don't read it every time, though, because it's the same stuff. Hi! Save here. Chikara is rising on Japanese Quest. Which will be the first to 9,000? My guess is probably Twitch, but YouTube has been catching up a bit, so I'm not totally sure on that. You can see the new bot there. The commands work now. Two. Let's see. We will say... Hi! Continue our journey. Huh. So she's talking about her prayer. Inori ga... Todokimasu yoni. So I hope my prayer reaches... Reaches God. Have you heard the funniest thing in Japan? I'm not sure what the funniest thing in Japan is. What does that mean? I can rent the boyfriend experience there. I have heard of something about that. Oh, we have a quest here. Komatana. So he's in some kind of trouble. And and I guess it's just the sound of crying there. Mary ga yane ni nobotta mama. So she climbed up to the roof. Morite konai. And Mary has not come back down. Dare ka yane no ue ni iru. Mary o tasukete yagete. So save Mary on the roof. All right, let's take that quest. Quest o o. So we were asked for this quest. Kono quest o okay, masuka. Will, will you take this quest? And I say, hi. Let's take it. Dosha. So what roof are we talking here? Hmm, up there, maybe. We've been going two hours and thirty minutes. Garbage, Greg, with the uptime command. Let's try to save this Mary on the roof. Hmm. Ozzy, Oz, Ozrock, Yokozo, Japanese customer, welcome. How much longer is this stream gonna go? Probably not that much longer. But I'd like maybe to complete this quest if we can. We might go a little longer today. Usually we will end around two and a half hours. So I'm thinking maybe we'll go. Three hours. We'll see. How do we get up here? Anyone know? Ah, remember to say hi, Rene. Good call. Actually, and mobile. Yeah, let's uh, let's do some jumping jacks. Um, now that you mention it, yeah, let's move around. Ichi, ni, san, shi. This is something jumping jacks. San, shi, go, roku, shichi, hachi, kyu, ju, juichi, juni, ju san, ju go. Okay, 15 jumping jacks. Everyone else, let's do jumping jacks. Let's move around. If you're watching a stream, you gotta move around too. You can level up physically as we level up mentally. That is the goal. The cat is doing jumping jacks in cat heaven. Ah! Oishi. I'm drinking water now too. The water's kind of old, but it's still delicious. Yeah, I'm lifting... Later today, you got sometimes you gotta mix it up. You gotta move around. Movement is important. But later today, um, I am lifting as well. Wednesday is my uh, workout day, so probably a late stream on Wednesday will not happen for a while because of that. All right, let's see. Let's get back to the game.
Uh, Cyber Kitty. For me, it depends. I kind of like both. Ooh, let's break some faces. We can move around in the game, too. Get some exercise in-game by jumping. I'm doing a new advanced technique. I'm jumping in real life as I jump in the game. Has anyone ever done this? This is high level. Okay. You think it out. Nice weather, isn't it? Tabibito Sankai. So a traveler? Moshimo Hisumitai no Nara. So if you want to rest. Uh, I think we talked to this guy before, so he's just saying there's a an inn back here. Yaroya in. Hmm. How do we get on this roof? Let's look up here. Hmm. Not even one Yeah, I feel like open game. Open world games are kind of hard to do well. To make that world feel alive is not easy. Like, I love the game Breath of the Wild, but even that open world feels, after a while when you've played it, not so alive. When you're first discovering, it's amazing. But eventually it starts to become kind of repetitive. It's hard to get out of that. I think when you're used to the real world and how... Uh, I loved Red Dead Redemption. I didn't play the second one. But uh, the first one I really enjoyed. I actually bought a PS3 just for that game. Yeah, I know you probably meant that, but I have not played the second one. Ananda-san, hosto, arigato. Thank you. Yeah, it looks good. I considered playing it in Japanese actually when it came out because it. I, there was a period where I was just super into Western movies and games. We have another quest. I don't know if we just want to keep taking. Millions of quests. I'm kind of thinking, let's go to the jungle, actually. I'm not finding this roof. It might be beyond my current abilities to find that roof. What? Ah, so yeah, go back. Okay, right, he's saying don't go this way. Go back to the lower level. Okay, let's remember where that is. Yeah, that's the thing. That's what I was thinking. Red Dead 2 felt alive. It looked alive. I kind of hope that the new Breath of the Wild adds more elements that make the open world feel a bit more alive. Even though, honestly, if I played both games, I might like Breath of the Wild more overall. But certain bits of a game you might like better than others. Let's see. Yeah, don't get me wrong, that's one of my favorite games ever, Breath of the Wild, but even still, it could be improved upon. It's a hard balance. Yeah, The Witcher looks good too, Witcher 3. My brother, Great Ape Greg, another Greg, keeps getting me to try to play that game in Japanese. I do want to play it, but I mainly want to focus on playing Japanese games. Even if it's a good translation, and it is a good translation for Witcher 3, it's still not the same as having original Japanese text. Something is always lost in translation, no matter how good the translator. Yeah, I'm super excited for Breath of the Wild 2 next year. It's probably my most anticipated game. Nani? Where are we? Ooh, we got a book. Have we read this book? Yeah, they are making one. Ah. Shogun to Gunshi. Futari no Eiyu. So the two heroes, the general and the, uh, the tactician. So they're going to write about 
the special characteristics of these two great heroes. Ah. Interesting. I think uh, you need like to activate some quests to read about it. Because I think normally there can be more in that book. Junkcracker, that sounds like a good game. Does it have good graphics? I've heard it's got really good graphics. So-so gameplay, though. <laughs> Let's see if we can jump on this guy's bed. These are the important things in games. So... Is it realistic that we could not jump on this man? Let's think about that. Like, whoever designed this, designed this so we can't jump on this man. Just simply not realistic. Guga Guga. Sound of snoring, I guess. Ooh, I love this guy. Hi, right, let's break your pots now. This guy I made the thumbnail of our last stream from yesterday. I'll probably upload that to YouTube uh, Friday or something. Chikaro kara nigerashita yusha wa... So he's talking again about the hero who escaped from that dungeon. So I heard that they'd bring about some calamity. But what level of calamity will it be anyway? I guess he's drinking so he doesn't really care. Uh, yeah, only high. That looks like a good one too. Cyberpunk 2077. Ooh, look at this beast. Let's see if we can jump on his bed. On his bed, we can't even get on the side. He's too... He's too broad in the shoulder. He can't get on the side of the bed. This is kind of the advanced discovery that I expect on Japanese Quest. Skinny guy, you can't jump on the side of the bed. This guy, you cannot. Important discoveries today on Japanese Quest. Discoveries in the language, discoveries in the game. Game-breaking discoveries. Okay, so where is this... So around the corner? Koko? Kana? Must be here. Yosh! Finally made it. Okay, so now we're going off to the jungle. And it looks like we're finally going back home. Still dancing here. What video are we talking about? Fallout 76. Oh, okay. Itaka. Were, were they there? So, Idu is to exist. Ita. It's the past form. Ka makes it a question. So, were they there? No, didn't see him. One more time. Let's uh, check the village, check the town. So, Moichiro, one more time. Oh, 
ずいぶん人を出してやがるな。ああ、マニック asks、is there a downloadable list of all the words you've got to read down there? You can copy and paste them from our, from our list. If someone types the, the command, exclamation point, power level. It's not list, it's power level. Maybe list would be easier, I don't know.、Uh, there is also an Anki list for it. Those are linked also at the top of the Twitch page, if you want to find them. Okay, so he's looking here at what? Ano. So that thing over there, Ano is used for something far away. Akari. So light. Ano. Akari no kazu. So the number of lights that he sees, the number of torches, perhaps. Zuibun hito. So they're really putting out a lot of people. Ah,、uh, Junkcracker, yeah, that's probably not a bad idea. I can do that, huh? I suppose list is the main list, power level. Maybe I'll do that. Any other commands you can think of that would be especially useful for this channel? I know you have some f fancy ones. I don't know if we need, like, dictionaries and things like that, but, uh,. But some things could be good. Let's see. So, until things cool down, it's better if we don't get close. <laughs> What is this double rainbow? Eh? Uh, will you ever play Rune Factory games in Japanese for learning? I have no idea what those are, so it, for the time being, I'd say no. But you never know. Okay, so let's go through that jungle and、uh, find cobblestone. Ishinomura. The village called Ishi Rock in Japanese. That's where he's from. Yay, we're back into the field finally. It's been a long time since we could fight a battle. Let's look at our map. So, if we go straight here, it will lead us into this jungle. Nabugana Mitsu. We should play Akiba's Trip. I don't know much about that one. But I think I've definitely heard of it. And I think I know a bit about it. Is there like an etchy theme to it? I know some game involving Akiba. Right, stripping girls, exposing them to sunlight. Seems like a plausible storyline. Okay, now let's remember attack the same thing. Attack the orange one. Yatta! What? Eh? Nani? You strip guys as well. Abunai.、Hmm, we maybe want to heal, but I'm going to take a risk and attack still. Let's take down one of them. Yeah, that's why I'm glad we're finally out in the field getting some combat. Kogeki means to attack. It's kind of fun to mix things up. When you're studying, once in a while, focus on language, once in a while, focus on battle. It's kind of the good thing about video games, they have a, a kind of built in system of balance, of rest. Interesting. Mamono no mure. Mure is like a herd or a group of monsters. Yatsuketa. So normally it says like the type of monster, but I guess if there's a mixed type, They'll say, Mure, like a, a group of monsters. Drunk Record says, by the way, we're doing Game Grammar live streams on Twitch starting next Sunday. Really? Suge. So, do you mean only on Twitch, not on YouTube anymore? Ex please explain. 
Yeah, for anyone who doesn't know, Game Grammar is a cool uh, channel similar to Japanese Quest. They've been doing it longer, though, and they're on YouTube. But it sounds like Junkracker might be streaming now here, which is cool. Live streams only on Twitch, really? Interesting. Uh, Japanese Quest says, what do you use to translate again? Do you mean Rikai-kun, that tool for translating on the fly with websites? It's called Rikai-kun, that's what you mean? That's very cool, Junkcracker. We'll have to uh, host you sometime. I've got to find your uh, Twitch and follow it. Yeah, check out Game Grammar now on Twitch starting next Sunday, I believe. That's right, right? Very cool. No longer on YouTube. Ah! A stump attacked me when I was talking about Game Grammar. Oh no, this stump looks strong. I'm afraid. Let's, uh... Kill a stump. Ah, but... Yeah. Okay, uh, I think I should probably heal. Kaifuku, heal. Yeah? So you won't be live anymore on, on YouTube, Junk Cracker? So I was thinking of possibly uh, streaming on YouTube someday. Hey, proper Josh. I'm trying to use the same study stream using Rikai-kun, copy and paste words in Google Docs. Every time I copy and paste it, I always paste multiple explanations. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, there is a way. I uh, forget exactly how to do it. But you need to change something with the settings. I think a YouTube video might have showed me how to do it. Sorry, I can't be more helpful, but there is a way to do it in the settings on the app or on the plugin. Probably not. YouTube seems not very effective, to be honest. Huh, interesting. If you're a Twitch affiliate or partner, you can't stream on YouTube. True. Uh, Buck says, I went to your stream after a while. Cool, you found a good stream. Sounds good. Yeah, that is a cool stream, Mojito-san. We like to host lots of Japanese teachers and streamers. Ooh, here we go. Level up. So we've gone up to level 7. Nicely done. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good comment by Raphael. Look at this. Go to the settings, change the last option. The default is 7 lines. So yeah, change that. That will probably help you. Yeah, you can stream different times. So I might stream someday on YouTube just to try it for a change. You probably hit some people you normally wouldn't hit. Ah! Leveled up with Kamu as well. Nicely done. Yeah, thanks very much for the comment there. Ooh, so we have some points now. Let's get some skills. Kamu. So which skills should we get with him? We haven't gotten any skills yet. So he has one-handed short sword skill. Katate, one hand. Um... Oh, Ken. So that's normal sword, Ken. And this one's Tanken, short sword skills. So I think he's wielding short sword, so we probably want to go with short sword. Also has boomerang skills and Kamiwaza. It's like god skills. All right. Uh, let's go with uh, dagger skills just because that's what he's wielding currently. Probably getting all of these eventually. It's not a bad thing. And yeah, this seems good. Kogeku ga fueru. So your attack power simply goes up if you have a short sword equipped. That's like exactly what we need. So let's get that skill. Use three skill points. Yes. Hi. We are getting skills. Okay. Kogeku ga. Goal, Fuita. So going up by five, our attack power. 
nice. So we have how many points left? Five more. All right. Uh, so let's get a skill here. Sleep dagger sounds kind of good. Sleep dagger. Sleep daga. Teki tayo. So for one enemy. Kiritsukete tamani. So once in a while, tamani means once in a while. So tama tamani. Once in a while, you can make them sleep as you attack them. Let's try that. Oh, we can't do it. We need six. This one. Tamkende no kogekiji kaishin no ichigeki ga deyasuku naru. Ah, this is kind of like a role-playing term. Kaishin Ritsu means like critical hit. So critical hit up two, that sounds probably good. Let's do that. Yosh. Yeah, well, Junkcracker, I uh, wish you luck on Twitch. And it's good to have another serious Japanese teaching powerhouse <laughs> that might be going a bit far for my channel to call it a powerhouse but on Twitch so anyway we can hopefully help each other if we're both on Twitch we should definitely collaborate sometime and definitely host each other because our channels are quite similar indeed indeed now are you konnichiwa ah hello now are you we've been hosting you a lot good to see you on stream you're always streaming like when we finish. Maybe not today, but you often are. So that's why we've been hosting you a lot. Plus you're playing Dragon Quest, which is what we need. So let's look at Akira. That's my name, by the way. I'm a Japanese teacher in the US. I've taught high school Japanese. I've taught immersion Japanese. I've translated Japanese professionally as well. Uh, we're right now leveling up uh, probably single hand sword skills with him. So let's make his attack power simply go up. Let's break this down. So Sobi means equip. So Sobi, Sobi G. So when he's equipped it, uh, when he's equipped with a single-handed sword, katate, single hand, kata means one side, te means hand, so one hand, then ken is sword, and then what's going up? Kogeki, your attack. And this Yoku here means power, so attack power goes up by three. That sounds good. Yeah, no, Arya, it's good to see you. Good to see you live. Um, how long have we been studying speaking Japanese? Like I said earlier, it's been uh, off and on for over 10 years. It's hard to say exactly how long, but it's been a while. But hardcore studying for like N2 and N1 before I passed N2 and N1. I'd say full-time study for like a couple of years to pass both of those. After that, studied more, became a Japanese teacher. I've read over 150 books in Japanese. The goal, over 9,000. Actually, for books, at least over 1,000. How old were you when you first started? Uh, technically, I started with one quarter of Japanese in junior high. But again, I didn't really get serious until I was like... After college, I was living in Japan, 23 years old. I had two years of college Japanese at that point, but I knew, like, almost no Japanese at that point. So I started kind of late, even though I got some exposure kind of early. So really, no matter what age you are, you can learn Japanese. I mean, even just as a hobby, it's just kind of fun, you know? Ah, uh, Garbage Greg, I am 34. Cool, my age is secret on this channel. Don't, I mean, age hierarchies are not something we need in this channel, but it's fine if people say how old they are. I normally say I'm 200 years old. I'm like a vampire, but a good vampire who teaches Japanese from video games. All right, so no, it's totally fine, great, uh, Garbage Greg. I almost said Great Ape Greg. Oh no! Get attacked by this uh, jungle cat. 
Daijobio. Don't worry about it at all. Um... Looking forward to see a post on Reddit from you. A post on Reddit from Junker. Ah, Junkcracker. Did they say they're doing a post on Reddit? Our post on Reddit worked fairly well. Yeah, Junkcracker, you might as well. Cause it's a big move to go on to Twitch from YouTube. And Game Grammar's thought of pretty highly on the Learn Japanese subreddit. I think a post there would be welcome, for sure. Self-advertising? Honestly, I wouldn't even think of it as self-advertising. Like, you're giving them content that they can take it or leave it that can help them. That's a good thing. Just put it there. If they downvote it, then so be it. But if they upvote it, then they want that. They want to read it. Just don't do it more than like once a month. That's kind of my rule of thumb. I haven't, like for me, it's more like once a year, but uh, that's the basic idea. My two posts on Learn Japanese were about a year and a half almost in between. All right, let's go to the jungle. Yeah, all Japanese teachers, all Japanese learners are connected. So uh, if you're a Japanese teacher, self-advertising is encouraged here. We like to learn how people teach, how people learn Japanese. Everyone can learn a different facet of something from other people. For example, imagine this is Japanese. This is everything possible to know in Japanese. This is what I know. A lot I don't know. And maybe I don't know if the sizes are right. Let's say this is what Junkcracker, narrator of Game Grammar, knows. There's a lot of overlap, but he knows stuff I don't know. Someone else here like EJ might know different stuff. And uh, if we keep showing what we all know, we can expand this circle. We can expand our circles, we can learn more. Kakuchi wo So go to various places. Shoubai wo shite orimasu. So I'm selling things at various places. Kono tokoro de oai shita no mo nanika no en. So it must be fated that we've met here. Um, N can mean fate. So some kind of fate. Nanika means like something. So Nanika no N. Some kind of fate that we met here. Nanika kate tegazai. So please buy something. Watashi wa tabi no kyosho nin desu. So I'm a traveling merchant. So what will you have? Did you come to buy? Did you come to sell? We will say. We came to buy. Doreo omotome mas omotome So what do you desire? What do you want? Huh, we have some new stuff. So do no tsurugi. So a copper sword. Do no taiken. So a copper great sword. And we have also uh, so this one's not for us, but a bronze knife is for him, up to attack. We have boomerang. We have leather shield again, kawa no tate, kawa no boshi, leather hat. We have the pointed hat, which we are equipped on our main guy. And we have uh, these weird underwear. Hmm. Maybe a new sword. What do you say? Should we buy a new sword? Let's just get it. I think we're gonna, if I put it to a vote, we'll say yes. Let's get it. Get a new sword. Hi! Sasoku. Sobi nasaimasu ka. Would you like to equip right away? Hi. Let's equip that. 
There we go. We talked about JLPT earlier. Yeah, are those exams recognized when you're looking for a job in Japan? Yeah, 1 and 2 are. N1 and N2, especially N1, are recognized. N1 helped me become a Japanese teacher in the U.S. as well. Because it shows some fluency or some level of facility with the language. Although I've had friends who failed N2 and they were Japanese teachers in the U.S. So really, you don't need N1 or even N2 level for some jobs using Japanese. Again, some people too, it's like the skill of taking a test. Not everyone has that skill, and that's fine. Like, I've had friends who are fluent in the language, they've failed N1 many times. N5 is the most basic, N1 is the highest level. Ah, uh, yeah. Lingo Deer, I think, used to be free. I think it's no longer free. Eh, Nani. I did not see anything. Oh, great. We've got a slime and we've got a weird slime and a weird lips creature. Okay. This could be dangerous. Daijobu Kana. Ooh, nice. His new attack seems to help. Yatta. Taoshita. Taosu to defeat, so Taosu thought we defeated it. We took it down. Yatta de! First battle in the jungle. Let's uh, get some hype in the chat with the new Yatta emote. That did not know if we could hang in this jungle, but we can. Yatta, Yatta. Okay, now we're. Let's look at our map. So this is the jungle. Eh? So there's a... I did not see this. Kikori no Koya. So Koya is like a, a sh like a hut or a cabin. So it's like a woodcutter's cabin. Let's check that out. Oh wait, are we... Oh no, we're not there yet. Let's go in that direction. Then. So we are here. So if we keep going, we can maybe get to that. It's a campfire there, huh? Let's get there. We can save there. Yatta yatta! Good use of the new yatta emote. It's always interesting. You can look at like metrics to see which emotes are used the most. I have a feeling yatta could potentially surpass our other emotes. Because that could be used in other places on Twitch too. Yeah, EJ, it seems like some people like, but in general, the reputation of Duolingo for Japanese in particular, is not a great reputation, but to be fair, I've not used it. And some streamers now have Duolingo as, like, they're a partner, like a uh, high guy just is now a partner for Duolingo, so I don't want to talk smack about it because I don't, haven't done it. But I do know the reputation is not great for Japanese learners. Ah, uh, yeah, Good question, uh, Junkcracker. Technically, you do. When I first posted there like a year and a half ago, I asked for permission and they gave me permission. But then this last time where I posted like two weeks ago or whatever. Um... Oh, dear God. No! I was talking about Reddit, so I died. Not good. Not good. I saw that we had two hit points, but it was too late. Yokunai ne. We are in trouble. Gambare! One hit point left! Yatta! Kachimashita! Eh? Ah, sorry, I didn't finish my answer there. But we barely survived. Can we heal somehow now? Oh, we're both at one hit point. Nice. Let's use some of these items that we have. But to answer your question, I cannot believe we survived there. Uh, this last two weeks ago I did this post that was quite... It got like a 
1,200 upvotes did quite well for me. Um, I, I asked for permission that day, like if, several hours before. And I think even eight hours before, but they never got back to me. Not even now. They never got back to me. So they never gave me permission. But they also didn't give me not permission. So because of that, I just posted and figured that if they gave permission like a year and a half ago, that hopefully can carry over. So this last post, I did not get permission officially, and it was fine. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. All right, so where are we here? A done. But for like a model of how to post, I recommend doing a self post. Check out my posts that I've done on that and see what kind of works. Because there's a certain format that works on that subreddit. And you might consider the game you're playing if they have a subreddit too. Okay, where is our item bag? All right, Dolgu is what we need. Please do it fast before we get killed by this thing. Yakuza herbs. Only High says, I think if your post carries true intent to teach Japanese, it's pretty much fine. Agreed. Agreed with that. Fair, I'll send them a message now if it doesn't get answered by Saturday after post. Yep, that's what I did. It worked fine. Okay. Sakao. Akira wa yakuza wo tsukatta. So Akira has used... Uh, some herbs? Let's use it again. Yosh. Hmm, maybe even again. Yosh. When the Yusha dies, he gets revived automatically. Good to know. I'm scared of these guys, it's only spells can hit them. I kinda wanna avoid that guy. But yeah, I think as long as you don't spam the Learn Japanese subreddit, like don't post more than like once a month or every couple months, it's probably fine. What in the world is this cow? Mo. So cow say mo. Kono tari no tenki ga donaru ka. So I will teach you what the weather is going to be in this area. So it will be sunny from tomorrow morning. So it will be good weather for an adventure. So I keep saying mo because that's what cows say. So, Namtomo Fushigina Ushi. So, Ushi means cow. And yeah, it is a strange cow. Fushigi means strange. So, Betsu no Basho is at a different place. Mata Ushi o Mikakatara. So, if you find a cow elsewhere, you can talk to them and see the weather, I guess. It's weather. It's a bit scary. Okay, Kyampuka. So it's a camp, it looks like. Shodoi, so this is perfect. Ishinomura ga arotari wa maramara saki dakarana. So where our village is is still further on. So mara means still, so maramara. Still a bit further up ahead. Kyo wa koko de yasundeiko. So let's rest here for today. Yasumu, to rest. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
しかも町の一等地に嫁さん付きだぜ<笑> So that guy Deku I can't believe he's become like a full fledged adult with a a store and even a wife in the nice part of town あれで俺と盗賊やってたなんてなお宝求めて世界中駆け回ってたのがなんだか懐かしく思えてくるぜ So thinking now back when we were、uh, treasure hunting thieves feels very natsukashi, very nostalgic. So omo means to think, so natsukashi ku, omote kuru. So when I think of it, feels very nostalgic thinking back. Ooh, got the kanji for dragon! And yeah, if you look at our subscribe screen, you see a couple different kanji for dragon. It's the nine month. Subscribe, Kanji is the, the more complicated version of Dragon. I haven't seen it yet on stream. But Greg must have had it yesterday because he resubscribed. So that treasure, it seems like it will be useful. The treasure that we found during our journey. So, uh, I will give you something good. It's like, yeah, all these treasures that we got were of the highest quality. Seems like we have a good. Oh, nice. Sweet, we got a new tool. So now with this, we can make any kind of equipment, it looks like. So what do you, all you do is sozai o nosete. So just put the ingredients, sozai, here. And then with a hammer, slam down on it. And then boom, we got some new items. Science. That's science for you. So, Amazing, don't you think you can make all kinds of different items from metal swords, Kinzoku no Ken, Ken means sword,、um, from wooden boomerangs, Kino Boomeran, <laughs> and then、uh, even, so Made means even as far as cloth clothing, Nuno no Fuku, Fuku means clothing. So, you can use this for all that stuff. So, it's not really my style to、uh, sweat a lot and, and be a blacksmith. Kaji is blacksmithing. And then, Gara is like your character or your style, Gara Janai. So, it's not his style to do this, but maybe it's our style. So, we haven't used it much, but you seem like I have a sense that you could use it. I do too, because this is a big system in this game. <laughs> Junkcracker, yeah, there were some good comments there. So, Chinamini, by the way. So, to do this strange kind of blacksmithing. So, you need a recipe book. That is necessary. What's the word for necessary? Right here. Hitsuyo. Recipe book ga hitsuyo nanda. So, recipe book plus the materials. So, that. So I'll give you this recipe book right now. Once I stop talking to you, why don't you just give it a try? Okay, the recipe book. Fushigina Kaji New Mono. Okay, so I, I said this word earlier. Talking about New Mon is like an entry book. I was talking about one I just finished reading in Japanese. It was called like 
Nihongo Bumpo Nyumon for Japanese people. It was like a grammar, Japanese grammar book. And uh, I also read like a Manzai Nyumon that I really enjoyed, like beginning Manzai comedy book. Manzai is kind of like two-person combo comedy that's popular in Japan. And uh, so we have an introductory book for uh, being a blacksmith with this weird blacksmithing thing. Seido no tsurugi no recipe o oboita. So it looks like we have a recipe for bronze sword and like a holy knife. Recipe book wa machi ni aru hon dana ya takara doko no naka. Hoka ni mo sekai jiu no iron na basho de te ni hairu kara achikochi sagashimatte mira ya. And these recipe books are kind of all over the world, so look around and find them. They're in places like Takarabako, treasure chest. Also, Ironabasha, so various places. Also, Hondana, bookcases. So, I'll give you some ingredients for that recipe. So, use that and then try out making a weapon. Alright, I think I don't want to read all this right now just because we've already read a lot about how this recipe book works. Let's look at any kind of big words that jump out at me. So again, they come out of these kind of places. If you find the recipe books, Takarabako, Treasure Chest, Hondana, uh, Bookcase. Yeah, Nanika, Tsukate Mio. So try making out something. Okay. So, Atarashi Kuso newly learned equipment. Atarashi Kuso oboita sobi o tsukuru. Tsukuru is the main verb here, to make. Again, tsukuru, tsukuru, tsukuru. They're all to make. You're making buki, buki o tsukuru, make a weapon. Bogu o tsukuru, to make armor or akusesari o tsukuru, to make accessories. Or... Uchinaoshi. That means to like remake or like reforge something. So uchi is to like hammer. And then naoshi to like redo it. So reforge basically. Ah, uh, Daniel. Bringing the stream into the shower feels good, man. Eh? You might be the first person who's ever brought the stream into the shower. That sounds luxurious. Okay, so let's see. Uh. Yeah, I didn't think I'd be streaming so long, but uh, we'll be ending soon. We'll be ending pretty soon here, after we save here. Just gotta forge something. So what should we make? Let's make this thing because that's a sword that we can both use. That makes me feel stupid for buying this sword earlier, but oh well. Ah yeah, you found the secret Instagram account. We have one follower. I don't know how they found us. There's just one picture of Griffin Sensei on there. Um, wasn't sure if we wanted to use it, but I made the account just in case on Instagram. I feel like it's such a visual medium. Like you really need either pictures or short videos, right? That's all you really need. So for so so far, I haven't really used it, but it's a possibility. What do you think? Anyone think we should have an Instagram that's active? Yeah, our Facebook too is probably did not e need to ever make a Facebook, but I made one at the beginning, so I've been keeping it going. We only got up to like a hundred or so followers on Facebook. We've got over four thousand here. Just put that in perspective. Okay, so let's make this bronze sword. Hi. Let's see what we're making. Seido no tsurugi. So a bronze sword. Seido means bronze. Do by itself means copper. Seido means bronze. Tsukurimasu, let's make that. Yoroshi desu ka? Hai! Let's do that. Oh yeah, you use IG a lot. Okay, cool. Instagram is kind of gross. Yeah, some people seem to think that. Some people think that about, I guess, 
It seems like it depends on the person somewhat, but yeah, I don't have a great sensor. I don't use Instagram, so that's why we don't have one. Height. But you never know. Doing a few posts there could be interesting. Again, don't want to read all this probably, but let's get the basic idea. Uh, right. So the main things you do is tataku to strike, so we strike the metal, and then tataku de sobi no um, jigane. This is like the or or uh, ingot. So jigane o kitai. So you can forge the uh, or and then shiageru. You can finish it. So that's the basic flow of it. Kihon no nagare. Nagare means like the flow. Kihon is the basics. So that's the basics. Try to get in the uh, success zone. Seiko zone. Which you can see kind of in the middle there. I've done this in the game in English, so I kind of know how it works. Ah, carcinogen. Donichiwa. Yeah. Yoroshi is like good, but if you do it as a question, like Yoroshi desu ka? It means like, is that good? Is that okay? So yeah, good question. Okay, so look at our options here. Tataku, to hit. And at top it just says dosuru, what will you do? Do is like what? Suru, to do. So dosuru, what will you do? We can tataku, hit with our hammer. Kind of seems like we're already hitting with our hammer, but okay. Um, this is like special abilities, which I guess we haven't unlocked yet. Uh, kuwashi kumiru, so like look at it closely. So it says ima, so now. So you can like confirm the current situation or jokyo of your item. And then shiageru is to finish. Alright, here we go. Tataku. Moikai, one more time. And check it out, we also have the temperature. Ondo. Yeah, right now, let's see if that goes up or down. It goes down. Nice! I think we have perfect... We have a perfect tip for our sword now. Nicely done. I think we're pros at this. So next we're doing Tataku again, but this time on the middle. Moikai. Perfect! Kanpeki! Eh? I can't believe it's perfect again. This is not that easy to do. I've done this before. We're making the perfect sword right now. Please make the hilt be perfect. Eh, Zannen! It is not perfect, but I think this should be lucky enough that this is like max level for this piece of armor. It still should be perfect in terms of the item. So let's do... Shiageru. So what, how do you finish it? You do a uh, jigane o mizu ni irete. So you put the metal, the raw metal, in water. Item o kansei sazemasu. So you complete the item. Kansei to complete. And wow, check out shouhi shuchu ryoku. We're at zero. So our concentration power is completely maxed. We could not have hit it again. This goes up as you play the game, but uh... Shuchu means to concentrate, Shuchu Yoku means concentration power. So we maxed out them. Hi! Yoroshi desu yo. So yeah, you'll see a very common question in games is Yoroshi desu ka? So is this okay? And we can say, Hi! We are done. Yatta! Check it out, we got plus three! Sword, plus three attack. So tsurugi means sword, tsurugi plus three ga dekita. So dekita means completed or finished or did something. Yatta de. So we put that in our equipment bag. Uchinaoshi no hojo niko tenireta. So we got two like reforging pearls. This is the word for pearl. 
Hoju. And then again, Uchinaoshi means to like reforge. So you need these pearls to like reforge stuff. I don't want to read about these reforging pearls, but just you need the pearls you can reforge. That's what it is. Yattane. So I think for now. Let's maybe try the Uchinaoshi one time to reforge something. Uh, let's see. Let's. So his short dagger is important. If we reforge that. Do we have enough? Oh no, we need three pearls for it. We can reforge that. That sucks. Uh, what else is important? Possibly our shield? Or let's say our leather armor. Let's do that. Let's reforge our leather armor. Just need... I think we can do that one. Nico, it's got this. So you want to use two pearls, we will say hi! Chikara is rising with our armor here. Yeah, Carcinogen, I'm, I'm glad you like the uh, sub badges. The whole idea is we want to involve Japanese in every aspect of this channel. So you're always exposed to some kind of Japanese, whether it's in the badges or the emotes or the bottom of the screen. Um, cause after all, I'm a Japanese teacher. That's what we do here. That is the one goal. It's an educational goal. And to have fun too. If you make it fun, it's easier to learn. It's a win-win. Ah, Rue3K! Nani! Good use of that emote. Good to see you, Rue. Haven't seen you for a while. Ima Genki. Check it out, the Rue I know in real life. Rue's a mod. And, uh... Is also... Kami level in terms of subscribing. So, yeah. Carcinogen, you weren't here earlier when we talked about it. Unfortunately, this is not live. And even more unfortunately... Griffin Sensei did pass away a few months ago. However, there are some new barn cats that might be joining our adventure sometime soon. Kanashime. Sorry to have to say that again. A little bit sad for anyone just knowing, but it's more sad for me. But he's still here because he's still here in spirit on this journey. Uh, Kami for now is the highest level. If we make partner sometime, who knows? There could be more emotes, more badges added. Ah, Ru! So ne! I said happy birthday on Facebook, I think. O tanjobi, omenito. Happy birthday, Ru. Good to see you. We're about to end stream. We're just reforging some uh, armor here. This one might be hard, though, because... Wow, it's a big piece of armor. So let's try this. Carcinogen has summoned a dragon! What? We got another dragon! Let's get some dragon hype in the chat. Suge. Let's get some hype here. Our new emote, Ru, maybe you haven't seen, is Yatta, which means like yay in Japanese. Yatta ze! Karzenichin is now Nako level, you now have the speed of a Nako in the world of Japanese Quest. Uh, Greg and Ru there with Kami level. Raphael with Nako level. Junkcracker with Ryu, Dragon level. A lot of different levels. Okay, let's do some forging here. Ah! Evil Ashi! More Dragon hype! Let's bring it! We're almost up to 75 subscribers, 75 dragons circling our uh, forging panel here. Let's keep forging as these dragons add their firepower to the forge. This armor is forged by at least two dragons. Yeah, Rue, you've missed it. We've been going hard recently. So we, we got max 5 emotes for our affiliate status, since we got over 50 subs. So let's see, Carcinogen SDA says, I'm going to become Kami level and still not know anything, but that's okay. Hey, that's fine. I never want to lie to people. Most Japanese sites, they'll say something like, this is the best way to learn Japanese. Let me just say this and be clear. This is not the best way to learn Japanese, probably. But my hope is it could be a fun way and a different way to learn Japanese, a different kind of path. And some way to talk to a Japanese teacher and other Japanese learners in a fun environment. And if nothing else, there's words on the screen that you could learn at any moment during the stream. That's the hope. But let's be honest, this is probably not the most effective way to study Japanese. But it might be the most fun way for a certain kind of person. That's 
who this stream is for. So let's see, uh, Igalashi says, yeah, that's me too, learning few words, which is fun. Drunk Cracker says, yeah, clearly the best way to learn Japanese is game grammar. <laughs> yeah, game grammar is good too, check them out. They're coming to Twitch now. Uh, there is no best way to learn. Yeah, that's the thing too, there is really not a best way. Everyone learns in a different way, there is no really best way. No one agrees in a best way. Uh, my advice is find many different ways, many different ways that you enjoy. Yeah, many different ways. Having diverse learning sources is a good way. So if nothing else, this is a very different and strange way to get some Japanese exposure. And in my mind, the best thing about this stream is that you get Japanese in context, a context that might be familiar, that you're interested in, which are all things that in my master's program are important. And uh, if you break down language with a skilled reader, which I hope to be um, for this stream, there's research backing that too. So really this is a researched, like I started this because the research supports it. It's not because I just think it's a fun thing to do. And it's a fun thing to do. <laughs> Heights. Have a nice shower junk. That sounds kind of strange, but yeah. Junk cracker, see you later. Ja, matane. Thanks for joining us today. We'll check you out on Twitch sometime on Game Grammar and on your channel. 9 out of 10 doctors recommend Japanese Quest. At least junk doctors. Phoenix King. 9 out of 10 Phoenix Kings recommend Japanese Quest. At least that's what I heard. In fact, there might only be one Phoenix King. So maybe one out of one Phoenix Kings? Anyway. Ah, so it looks like it got a little stronger. We kind of sucked this time. Kawa no Yoroi. So Yoroi is armor, leather armor. Uh, plus one. So we only got to plus one. The other thing, our sword got to plus three with some luck. But this one at least got to plus one, so that's a bit better. Phoenix King, konnichiwa. Hello, good to see you. Welcome to Japanese Quest. I think we're done here. Uh, oh. Hajimete no Kaji. So your first time using the blacksmith. Otsukare. So thanks for your hard work. Doda. So how was it? Umaku. Dekitaka. So did it go well? We can say... Hai! Went well. Majika, really? Hajimete no Kaji na no ni. So even though it's your first time blacksmithing. Yaru na, Akira. You're pretty good, aren't you? So this phrase here, yaru means to do, but this is a common phrase, yaru na. So you're pretty good, aren't you? The na kind of gives a don't you think kind of feeling. Then shishitara, so if you practice, lenshu, lenshu, very important, learning a language, this word, lenshu. Motto, umaku narutomo. So it'll get even better if you practice. Korekara wa, so from here, you can keep using this weird blacksmithing thing in camp. And uh, yeah, you can use this daijinamono, this important thing, this fushigina kaji set, this strange blacksmith set. This is the Switch, and this is the free demo. So anyone can play the free Japanese demo. And uh, unfortunately, furigana is not that common, but one reason we're playing it is because furigana helps a lot for this stream. People can read it more easily. Words like kaji, maybe you couldn't read before, but with the furigana, much more readable. Speaking of that word kaji, let's see if we've learned that word yet. The word for blacksmithing. So kaji can mean like housework chores with a different kanji, but this kanji, not that either, can mean fire, not that either, rudder or helm, lots of kanji. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. There we go. Blacksmithing. We finally got down there. Blacksmithing. Not labeled as a common word, but really in a fantasy setting, it is pretty common. So let's add that word to our power levels we have not yet. Let's make our power level go up here today. Kaji smithing, blacksmith. So power level is now 1408. Let's make that go up. 
Check it. Let's go to the world of Japanese Quest. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? Power level is now... Sen Yon Hyaku Hachi. Almost 9,000. We're getting there. 9,000 fluency is the goal. We're getting close to fluency. Aru, you're back. Good to see you. And again, happy birthday. Are you having a good birthday so far, Aru? Sir Isaac. Welcome, Sir Isaac. Good name. Reminds me of Sir Isaac Newton. Jeffrey, now party member. Yokozo, welcome. So a lot has happened, as expected, I am tired now. So tsukareta means to be tired, and then chimatta means like... Yeah, we're pretty tired now. So yo is kind of like a emphasis, emotional emphasis, so we're really tired. Kyo wa soro soro yasumu koto ni. So let's... why don't we rest? Yasumu, to rest. And then soro soro means pretty soon here, it's time to rest, I think. Been tired all day? Watashi mo chotto tsukaita. I'm a bit tired too, been streaming for a while now. We went a bit longer than usual. What are we up to? Anyone to get an uptime? Oh wow, well beyond three hours now. So let's say we'll probably end streaming a bit here. Yeah, longest stream we've done for a while. But we need that time to get through the jungle. Yukuri means so, like, slowly. Or relaxing. So let's relax and, uh. Yukuri shite itta ra sukkari. Hi ga nobochimata. So we've been resting and now already the sun has risen. Sa. Ishinomoro mezashite susumo. So let's aim for cobblestone and let's let's go. Ah, nice. Owatari hitta. So big hitter. Uh, Fushigana kajide. So at this strange blacksmithing thing, we made a plus three item. So that's the title we get. Nice. Uh, EJ, good question. I don't know. Anyone know that? Let's save here. Kind of a cool scene, though. Can we jump off? We cannot. I always like to jump to my death if possible in games. Seems not possible in this game, unfortunately. Huh, could that be the temple we're going to? Could be. Been playing VR lately. It's a trip interesting. What games in VR? So from nowhere in particular, we hear a voice. Here's the word for vo voice. Koe. Koe ga kikoere. We can hear a voice. Hmm, interesting. Skyrim in Japanese could be cool, I bet, in VR. You can get that on the Switch as well. Not VR, maybe, but Skyrim. So, Inori. Oh, Inori also do. Let's pray and save. So, 3DS, Zelda's have Furigana. Not sure which ones. Cool. That's good to know. Hi. Let's save. Let's continue. Okay. So for today, let's end the stream here. Next time... Ah, what do we got here? Kun Kun. So we got this dog. Let's see what this dog says next time. So uh, I will say, Ja! Matane! Ooh, those barrels too. We'll have to get next time. We'll end the stream here. Minna, what's got it? Thanks everyone who joined us. We had a lot of party members today, a lot of new dragons today. 
Thanks to everyone for the new subs and new follows. Uh, let's make the dog say it as well. And Eric can say it as well. Let's make our consistent arrows there. Jump! Mata nice you guys next time. Let's uh, host someone today. Who shall we host? We always host another Japanese teacher or learner or Japanese person. Uh, it looks like right now... Ooh, Ate Soul right now is streaming. Just chatting. I, I think usually they teach or learn Japanese. So let's host Ate Soul. Huh. Let's go back. It seems like it doesn't say a title on their stream. It seems kind of odd. Anyway, let's host them. Uh, it seems like the new... Kind of hosting thing. I don't see all the information I'm used to. But anyway. Ciao. Mother nice. See you guys next time. Nightbot says Chikara is rising. Power is rising on Japanese Quest. So check out our YouTube. Check out our Twitch. Let's see who gets to over 9,000 faster. Or maybe our power level with words will get to 9,000 faster. Probably not. Ciao. Mother nice. See you guys next time. Japanese, will, Japanese Quest will continue tomorrow at 5 o'clock Central Time. Thursday, 5 o'clock Central Time. Ciao. Mother nice.